rules. You know. Jonas, where did you is leave possible? Hello? Anybody here? Sure. Hello? Is anyone in here? All right. Well, you know then. Doesn't look like the lamp works anymore. Excuse me, who... who are you? Bury me. Where you can't see what. I can hear you all right. Um, over. Awesome. Leslie probably told you, we're an environmental group. Local governments will contract us to study the effects of deforestation or noise pollution. But my specific area of expertise is in strange or otherwise unique natural phenomena. Electrogravity, ion winds, you know, stuff like that. Now, over the last few months, Kamina's been overrun with disruptions in the electromagnetic spectrum. These frequencies act like radio waves, but as far as we know, aren't. And they're messing with the town's comm equipment, TV stations, even air traffic signals. The transmitters you'll place will relay any signals back to us so we can study them. Got it? Over. Okay. All right. That uh, makes sense, I think. I think I remember doing something like this in a high school science class. Yeah, it's a little weird, right? Hopefully this sort of thing is interesting to you. Your transmitters and climbing gear for the rocky terrain are being held with the very polite manager of the general store. Should be right in the center of the harbor. Go get them and then call me back, okay? Oh, and before I forget, uh, you have a walkie-talkie. You'll be using it to keep in contact with me and anyone else you need to chat with. Uh, do you need me to go over the basics of how to use it? I, I could actually use a refresher if you don't mind. Not a problem, not a problem. So go ahead. 
lot of channels, as you can see. I'll always be on channel 7. So, if you ever want to chat, just click over to that and say hi. But, uh, let's, let's hop over to channel 5 so you can see it working. Hey, Evelyn, I'm here. You there? Perfect. I'm your night watch, so I'll be on all night, unless I'm using the bathroom or taking a bug outside or something. All right, let, let, let's switch back to 7 so we're not crowding anyone else who could be using this channel. See you on 7. Hey, Evelyn, I'm back on 7. Over. Great. Hey, hi. So, uh, everything about the walkie-talkie makes sense? Makes total sense. You're a good teacher. Uh, over. Oh, thanks. I try to be. Well, nice to meet you, Riley, even if not in person yet. Let me know when you got your gear, okay? General store. Okay, over and out. Huh, doesn't look like anyone's here. Uh, I should probably call Evelyn and let her know. What is this? A flyer? Learn about our free soul body health class. Luna has the power to heal. Join parentage. Keep to the stars, blood, moon, tide. Huh. Hey, Evelyn. Is there, like, another general store nearby? Because there's nobody here, so... I don't know what to do. Over? Ah, oh, crud. Okay. He must have closed early. This isn't a deal-breaker, though. Just head up the hill on your way to Camber Cave. Your partner, Jacob Summers, is having some car trouble, but he's got a transmitter you both can use for tonight. Over. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, but partner? If I'd known I was working with somebody, I uh, might, have, might have remembered to put on deodorant. Oh, it's fine. He's another contractor, Jacob Summers. We like to use a buddy system when people are in the field. You never know what could happen. People slip or get bit by snakes or... Sorry, Riley. Uh, one sec. That can't be right. Those readings don't make any sense. Reset the processor. Hey, are, are you talking to somebody? Sorry, Riley, I gotta go, but uh, real quick, you have your map with you, right? Pull it out for a second. So, as you can see, there's a lot of land to cover, and a lot of it is inaccessible unless you have climbing gear. All those rocks and cliffs and crap are too dangerous without rope and anchors. But Jacob's still at Copper Creek Trail, northwest of where you're at right now. Take the road, and you'll get there pretty quick. Also, by the way, your map has a lot of useful information. Don't be afraid to whip it out if you ever get lost or forget what you're doing. Okay, I'll call you later when you're with Jacob. Thanks, Riley. Over and out. Hey, uh, sorry, but are you Jacob? Jacob Summers? Oh, hey, yeah, I, I'm Jacob, which makes you, uh, Riley? Evelyn let me know you were on the way. Uh, you, you, you kind of caught me in the middle of... <laughs> this is embarrassing. I can't get my truck to start. Yeah, this uh, was going to be our ride around town for the job, but she might be on her last legs. Oh, uh... Do we need it? I, I think they hired me mostly because I had a truck. <laughs> so, maybe? L let's, uh, let's try something, though. The key's in the ignition. Could you just start up the engine real quick? I'm trying to see if it's the, uh... Um, sure. What the hell? Oh, thanks. It's just, I don't know what the issue is. <laughs> oh! Crap. <coughs> oh, okay. Uh, tur turn it off. Back. Well, thanks. I won't even try to explain what happened. I can't even pretend. Oh, that's bad, right? That's not what we want? No. That's not what we want. I think we can call time of death on this one. Riley and Jacob, did you guys meet up yet? Uh, this is Evelyn. Over. Oh, I think that's our uh, boss's doing a check-in. Hey, Evelyn. That? 
Yeah, you got Riley and Jacob here. Over. Okay, great. Hi, Jake. Jake's great. He's a handyman regularly, but we were lucky to get his help with this. Your truck ready? You guys good to go? Uh, not yet, Evelyn. Jacob's truck was struck down by a mysterious illness. I think the engine's fried. Is our first transmitter point far? Over. Uh, kinda. It's Camber Cape. We want to try and get as much over-air traffic as we can. I see now why you asked if I had an all-terrain vehicle. Yeah, it's a lot easier with a ride, but I know folks that do the hike for their morning warm-up. It shouldn't burn you too bad. You two are going to be planting transmitters all around Kamina. Jacob, you have transmitters, right? Uh, just one. Riley, I'm strapped for space, so uh, could you grab the transmitter? It's right there on the blanket. Oh, uh, okay. This thing? I think I have the space. I promise I won't think of you as our pack mule. Why even say that? Hmm. Huh. Nice. One tonight, and a few more tomorrow when the general store opens. Okay, guys, I feel good about this. Really. Jacob, Riley, have any questions? I don't think I have any questions, no. Alright, guys. Good luck. Let me know if you run into any trouble or have any future questions. I'll be on most of the night. Thanks, Evelyn. Talk to you later. Alright, Evelyn. Uh, thanks. Uh, bye. Uh, Riley, real quick before we go. You see that radio on my truck? Uh, can you grab it? Sorry, but I, I kind of got my pockets full. Uh, yeah, sure thing. Oh, thanks. Hey, try it out. This far from town, we won't get the whole range, but I think we can get the uh, local baseball game. Tune it to 93.7. Uh, yeah, okay. Just give me a sec. In the cheap seat, this is David I used to watch crayfish games with my older brother like 20 years ago. But uh, thanks. It, it sounds great. Okay, by foot, Camber Cape is up this way. Shouldn't take too long. So, uh, Evelyn, she's, she's a little funny, right? She ran me through the job a week ago, and she's definitely a character. Oh, funny? Like, how do you mean? I, I, I don't even know. She's just... I mean, her voice has a thing to it, you know? She's a, a character. If I hear her at a train station or something, I'll immediately know. That's Evelyn. Hey, uh, this is a really stupid time to bring this up, but... But when I heard your name, Riley, I... Well... Do you remember junior year? This is Osmore's English class and uh, PE fifth period. We went to high school together. I dated your friend, uh, uh, Patty. You know, butter Patty. We ran in different circles, but I just wanted you to know that I knew we knew each other. That's all. Okay, we knew each other. <clears throat> so, uh, hi, I'm Jacob. Nice to meet you. Uh, first day on the job topics. I'm what you call an independent contractor. You know, light fixtures, building a deck. But I signed up for this partly because of how weird everything's been. It, it's, it's why I brought the radio, actually. Evelyn won't get into it, but you can tune into super strange stuff if you know how to find it. Super strange stuff? I, like, more than just foreign stations bouncing off a satellite somewhere? Uh, yeah. Way more. It used to happen just on Edwards Island. It was a sort of inexplicable audiovisual phenomenon. Using any old radio, you could tune into physical objects. I'm curious if we'll get readings from the island. Wait, what does tune into physical objects mean? I can't even picture what that could be. Yeah, it's hard to explain. When tuned to the right signal, a radio would sort of charge up stuff in the environment. It didn't make sense. I mean, people investigated it to no real determination or... Uh, 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 slow up. Be careful around those logs. Sometimes it rains and stays slick overnight. <laughs> you overslip? Sounds like there's a, an anecdote there. <laughs> no. Well, I... Once. Twice, but ne never seriously hurt. Well, once seriously hurt, but... You, I'm fine. 
But, uh, we were talking about radios, yeah. The effects, though, that radio effect has kind of bled from the island to around here now. But, uh... What's I'm... this? Oh, that? We have some off-color people living this far out from proper civilization. There's a group in town that performs, uh, nature rituals. You'll see evidence of it dotted around. This could be them. Wait up a minute. There's a bench over here. Can we just take a quick second? I just need to rest my feet. Eh, sound like I'm 80, but... Uh, ah, sorry. I'm just not used to this kind of uh, exertion. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's fine. We can take a minute. <laughs> I could use the break, too. Oh, thanks. Just till my toes stop throbbing. <laughs> Out to be a really nice night. Yeah, it uh, it is. Feels honestly a little like tornado weather, which they don't really happen in Oregon, you know. Maybe it's a sign. Uh, a sign of what? A tornado? Yeah, that. Or something else. All right. Thanks for the stop. Help me catch my breath. All right, we're getting close. Just over the crest, there should be a clear enough spot for the transmitter. Hours, sunrise to sunset. Used to be open to like 10, but someone spotted a bobcat a couple years back. Limited the hours. Closed. Locked. And locked. Damn it. The hell do I do? Huh. I don't know another way around. Maybe we should call Evelyn, tell her we're at a bit of an impasse. Hey, uh, Evelyn, this thing is closed, or locked, the way to the summit. Closes at sunset. Okay, uh, that's not ideal. See if you can, um, uh, I don't know, stupid small town crap. I'll bet the bars close at like 2.30 in the afternoon. We gotta get that thing placed up top, so, uh, get creative. Over and out. I'd rather avoid tetanus, so no climbing this one. Don't forget about MRSA. Uh, what the hell is MRSA? Oh, it's just, it's just another uh, infection. Another kind of infection. Looks like the lock's on the other side. Hmm. Yeah, I'd say let me boost you over, but that barbed wire says otherwise. Sorry this turned into a bit of a headache. I totally forgot that they lock parts of the park up after hours. This or nothing. Oh, well, that works too. It is a, uh, a proper climb, though. Man, are you gonna feel like crap if I die? <laughs> You'd be surprised. I'm more callous than I look. That, that was a joke. Mountaineering isn't exactly on my CV, so, uh, knock yourself out there, champ. Uh, f figuratively. Come open up the gate after your topside. Uh... 
Ah, oh, made it. Riley, are you at the summit? Over. Hey, uh, Evelyn. Yeah, I'm at the summit. Over. Oh, perfect. So, when you plant the transmitter, you'll need to adjust it manually a little. Just fiddle with the dish so it aligns with the signal. You'll know when it happens. Sounds good? Over. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. Got it. Great. Call me back if you get confused or anything. Over and out. Oh, hey, you made it. Good job. You doubted me? Not for a moment. Awesome, thanks. Up we go. Well, you grew up here, right? Did you ever buy that story about Edwards Island? About the, the submarine that went down near Fort Milner? The USS Kanaloa? Uh, which story? The USS Kanaloa was the only American submarine down in enemy combat in American waters. It happened right off the coast of Edwards Island. 1943, during World War II. But, uh, you know, some people don't fully buy it. Uh, don't buy what? What do you mean? They think it's a lie? Well, some people say it was friendly fire, that we accidentally bombed our own sub. Well, when you say some people, are you one of those some people? Yeah, I'm one of those some people. Yeah, sure, you could say that. Sometimes things just aren't what they seem, you know? Uh, but, uh, you know, if you're willing to bend your brain a bit, there's always the other, other story. Other, other? There's another story on top of us bombing our own soldiers? Do you believe in ghosts? No, not really. Well, some people, maybe even some people standing right next to you, think the crew members of the USS Kanaloa got lost on the way to the light, let's say. I'm thoroughly creeped out now. Thanks. Oh, I don't mean to give you goosebumps. I'm just trying to give you the back alley tour. <laughs> it, it, it makes sense if the radio wave strangeness is coming from there, right? I mean, Edwards Island is a weird place. You go there and it's like your feet never really touch the ground. Couple that with an at least semi-questionable tale of maritime disaster and you have yourself the recipe for a proper ghost story. Eh, don't know. Your mileage may vary, I guess. Look, I can believe it. I've seen crap that's hard to explain, impossible to explain even. So, hey, you tell me a down submarine crew haunts the coast of Kamina, I won't argue. You're kind, but let's be realistic. But hey, ghosts, no ghosts, wartime accident, or a heroic defeat, at least we can both agree that it gets too friggin' cold out here. Jesus. Oh, I can barely feel my feet. Oh, agreed. I'm freezing. Oh, whoa. See that? Over Edwards Island. Oh, that storm cloud looks nuts. Oh, wow. It looks pretty, whatever it is. Yeah, pretty. Okay, so the transmitter needs to be adjusted manually. Just move the, the thingy until the what's it connects to a source frequency. Man, you're really nailing the jargon. Hey, thanks. That's uh, three years of online adult education courses talking. Yeah, it's working great. I uh, think. So what's uh, what's next? This was our only transmitter for the night. Back it in. Let's uh, l l let's actually call Evelyn real quick. Make sure they're getting the key. Hey, uh, Evelyn. We did it. We planted the transmitter. Looks good on our end. Over. Hey, Riley. Yeah, the readings just coming in now. There they are. The signal's clear. You guys did a great job. Oh, uh, hold up one second. Okay. This is a little weird. Uh, guys, tell me what color is the little light blinking? Uh... Wait, 
What is that? Do you see that over Edwards Island? Riley, do you know? Is this is this right? Riley, what's going on? The readings are a little weird over here. Uh, Riley, is this normal? It's reacting with the with with the with that. Something. Riley, turn off the transmitter. Lightning? What? Wait. There, there's someone here. What the Who hell is, is she? She did something. She, whatever she did, fried our antenna. Mom, come on. You tell me all the time. Don't let the concerns of others concern you. Right? What? What? I, I can hear you. <laughs> as long as it's something. Well, welcome to Kamina. Or the northern tip, anyway. You're going to be, uh, placing transmitters? That's, uh, that's the, the job. In your backpack, you'll find most of your equipment. Should be four transmitters and a test radio. Now, here's where I confess that I completely messed up and I totally forgot to pack your climbing gear. I'm choosing to blame the unforeseen hangover, but... I express mailed it to the general store that's run by a very f The general store's closed, Evelyn. I get there too late. It's closed? Oh, shoot. Well, can you still head over and knock on the door? It would help me out a ton if they can just let you grab the equipment real quick. Sounds good? Talk to you soon. Over and out. the right time yet hey kid can you can you help me you I, I think keep i'm away keep away from all of this for your own good this isn't for you just who are you what are you doing just leave it alone don't don't listen to them don't do anything stay back hey wait come in riley if you're there pick up please riley Answer, please. Over. Evelyn, there was there was some kid breaking into the general store. Sorry, can you hear me? The distortion might be futzing with this. I'm just glad the walkie's still kind of in range. I wanted to tell you that. Actually, man, have you ever gotten deja vu? A serious case of it right now. I think we're. I think we might be stuck in a, a loop or something. We've done this before. I... Riley? Uh, are you still there? You're getting bad. Riley? Hello? Evelyn? Come on, uh, please. Come out to play. The moon does shine as bright as day. Come with a hope. Come with a call. Come with goodwill. But our antenna, it broke. They planted the beacon thing and it ruined everything. Got overworked. I'll have to to repair it, re rebuild it, or no. somehow or he will ruin my life. It's her again. She keeps trying to. Again? Did I just? Uh, okay. Again, it is.
damn it, come on. What do I need? Just keep it together, right? I feel like whatever that was stopped because of that machine, or I don't know. God, I hope Jacob's okay. Maybe he went back to his truck. Um, hello? Is anyone there? Evelyn? Echo? Echo? Whatever. Piece of... Wait. It... God damn it, it's cracked. Oh, great. I really need to get a working walkie and call Evelyn back. She'll... Well, she better know what the hell is going on. Bit. No. Ah, ah, Christ! Hey, Jesus! Good Lord, that... I'm sorry, you scared me. Whew. Gotta give my heart a second. You scared me, are you kidding? Oh, God. Sorry. Oh, my God. R Riley, this is... I don't know what happened. Do you know what happened? I, I was... We were planning the transmitter. Some lights came out of it. I have no idea what happened. You, you're okay though. I'm. I, I don't know. Are you okay? You seem alive, which is maybe more than I can say for myself right now. I think I'm okay. Yeah. Ah! Hey guys, are you there? Oh, it's it's Evelyn. Jesus. Maybe she has like any idea of what the hell is going on. Yeah. Here's uh. Here's hoping. Hey, Evelyn, we're, we're here. Did, did you see or do you know anything about what happened out here? A bolt of lightning or something came out of the transmitter and it, 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 it kind of knocked us out for a bit, but we somehow made it back to my truck. I don't, we don't know what happened. D do you over? Oh, jeez, guys, I, I don't, I honestly don't think it was lightning. I, I don't have eyes over there, but the readings on our end are completely flipping out. You need to go back to Camber Cape and see what the transmitter is doing right now. Uh, oh, really? Well, if, if, if you could see what's going on, it seems risky. <sighs> okay, Evelyn, uh, this is Riley. What do you need us to do? You need to go back to the transmitter and tell me what it's doing while we still have time. Time to do what? In time for us to figure out what's going on before it gets any worse. I hate to ask you to do this, but it's very important you go back there and check it out. <sighs> okay. All we have to do is look at the transmitter and tell you what it's doing. Fine, we'll just do it and regret the decision later. Great. Yeah, but we need assurances. Time and a half. And medical. In case our damn skin melts off. I am sure we can cover expenses, Jacob. Just please double time it and get back to that transmitter. Thank you both so, so much. Really, uh, let me know when you get there. Over and out. Here, the walkie I had near the transmitter died, so I assume yours did too.
This should work. Uh, thanks. Look, I, I know this really sucks what we're about to do, but I don't know what's going on. But, but it seems extremely bad is all I can muster right now. And we're the only ones out here that knows anything about it. So I feel like sometimes people are put in positions where they can most matter. And this feels like it matters, right? Well, maybe that's true, maybe it's not, but I know we can figure it out. I mean, you, I don't know, but I know I can figure it out. Yeah, I, uh, I believe you. Wait, wait, Violet, listen. There? That's... Their transmitter knocked everything out of whack. The reverberation destroyed our antenna. We... We need to repair it. We... I almost had it. They were talking, but we were talking... Charlie, come in. Violet, where are you? Should we, uh, answer them? No, no, wait, wait. I... I, I want to hear what they're going to say first. They don't know we can hear them yet. Guys, I... I think she's by the cave system. Violet, what happened? Where did everybody go? Charlie, where are you? Over. I'm, I think I'm by the ranger station. Pointilia, that's not far from here. I can get another receiver to fix the antenna. Hurry. And Violet, stay put. Charlie and I will get you later, okay? Arth and Cinder, catch squirrels if you can. Over and out. That doesn't sound good. They sound young. Oh. What the hell is going on? Let's just focus on the stuff we can control, like getting any data we can from the transmitter. Yeah, yeah, okay, let's do it. Let's, let's just hurry up and see what the transmitter's doing. Come on! Yep, right behind you. Let's go. Okay, this, uh, this looks very volatile. It's affecting something over Edwards Island. Do you see that? What the hell is that? A giant thing in the sky. That's a huge light show. It looks like, like a giant hole in the sky. How is that possible? Is the transmitter really affecting it? It's beaming some kind of energy to it, but... Riley, this is gonna sound... I, I, I don't know, but this is all... I've heard about this. Someone told me this was possible years ago. She, no one really believed her, but she knew. Even 30, 40 years ago, she knew. Jacob, what are you talking about? Wait, Riley, do you, do you hear that? There's... Uh, hear what? You don't hear that? It sounds like, it, it sounds like... Kids. <laughs> Jacob? Jacob, can you, can you hear me? J J oh Jacob? My. Oh, I can't believe this. J Jacob! 
What is that noise? I have to do something here. I can't just... But... I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. Said, Miss, bar's closing. You gotta go home. Hey, anyone know her? Anyone where, friends with this woman? Where, where, where anyone? am I? Anyone? No? Do I have to call somebody? I didn't even do anything, okay? What are you coming at me for? What am I coming at you for? You haven't even paid your tab yet. Hey, wait, buddy. You were talking to her earlier. Jacob, man, I am happy you're alive. Are, are, are we it's been in a touch and go there for a minute. Garland? God, this is crazy. The time glitches, the jumping around. Riley, I think I might know what's going on. But first, let's get the hell out of here. Oh, looks like a climbing anchor. Well, I won't be able to use this unless I get some rope somewhere. Evelyn, you there? Over. Oh, I don't think we can get through. Look, I, I... I think I know what might be going on, but it's going to take some explaining. My cottage is just up the way here. I might have something that could help. It's not very far. Jacob, what do you know? What is going on? I took this job because I've been into this stuff ever since I was young, and I'm not just randomly into radio technology i mean i know i know what transmitters are for a reason when i was a kid there was this older lady who lived in town well she lived on edwards island really but she got her groceries and stuff in town she studied this stuff weird frequencies signals she had lots of theories no one believed or would believe when we were kids we were kind of friends and i, I have a lot of her journals still i know she wrote about something like this i, I think it can help i know it can what did she do? What was she? She worked at Fort Milner on Edwards Island when the base was still operational. But I can get into it if you want, after we find out if it works. The cabin's just up uh, this way. Not that it's going to wow your socks off or anything, but I like to explain to people that I inherited it. Yeah, just, just so you don't think. It's not like this is my beach house or anything. My parents had me and my brother old and both died in our 20s. Oh, that... I'm sorry, that, uh, that sucks. Yeah, it would've been nice for them to have met each other a little younger, but uh, I, I guess I'm just happy they met at all. 
The cabin and the money left me in my parents' will means that I have to work, but it's not like a huge deal, basically. I, uh, <laughs> I used to worry this made me a boring person. I'm compelled to remind you that this place was an inheritance. I'm not a secret billionaire. Just look at my shoes. Exactly what a secret billionaire would want me to think. <laughs> Trust me, if I was a billionaire, I'd wake up every morning, grab a bullhorn, and shout, I am a billionaire! Secrets are for people who can't pay violation of noise fines. All the stuff that we need is inside, so just take a minute, I know exactly where it is. Oh, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Problem? Kind of, yes. The door is locked, which it should be. The keys, however, are not where they should be. They're, oh, I can picture it, they're in the kitchen drawer. I was moving things around this morning, and I forgot to put them back in my pants. Ah, oh, God. I'm starting to get worried that this isn't your house. Should I be? Well, I could show you my driver's license if that wasn't also inside. I watched a video on how to pick locks. I think I remember the host's hair color. Yeah, I'll tool around with it for a bit. And if push comes, I'll just unscrew the damn thing. <sighs> hey, can we just get in from here? Absolutely. If my truck was here with the garage door opener. Sorry. Doesn't look like he cleans the gutters much. Eh, maybe he plans to. Wow. Stupid pain in the ass, bastard, sore thing. Drats. Damn it. Did that? No. Maybe? No. Why am I not surprised? I need to get up there. Hmm. This should reach the window. Hmm. Nope. Really? Encyclopedia Brown, a biography of Guglielmo Marconi. I don't know who that is. And an eighth grade science textbook. Jacob, you are a man of interesting tastes. Oh. Not bad for an amateur. Oh, his brother. Didn't think they'd be twins. Hello? Better three hours too soon than a minute too late. The waiting be hell, I am to wait. Better three hours too soon than a minute too late. Uh, yeah, you have a nice day too. Hey, you there? Come let me in. Thanks. Yeah, how'd you get in? You left your upstairs window open. I used your ladder. Oh, I left that open again. God. No, 
I'm gonna find a barn owl in there chewing on my pillow one of these days. Uh, the journal should be just over here. I know there was one where she talked about gates. Windows to perpendicular spaces. I know it's in here. Just, uh, hang, hang on. You got a really weird phone call a minute ago. If it was a prank, I definitely didn't get the joke. Oh, really? Uh, what'd they say? Or was it just like a recording or something? If you want a boat, just send us $5,000. <laughs> they were worried about being late? Uh, I don't know. It was weird. Huh. Well, probably a wrong number. Oh, wait. Hang on. Oh, this is it. W one of the journals that belonged to Maggie Adler. She was stationed at Fort Milner, right here on the coast, when the submarine crashed. She said it was a mistake, that the whole thing had an experimental engine or something. And that when it blew up, something happened to the reactor. It split the crewmen from our reality, forced them in between time, in between dimensional planes. They were gone, but not really. Is, uh, that why this is happening? Maybe. Maggie did all these experiments and, and, and research in the last half of her life. She discovered radio waves can reach through planes of existence. It can, it can affect the past and, and the future. But, you know, without hard proof, without the knowledge of the inciting incident, no one really except me believed her. I mean, n not that I, you know, blame them. I mean, okay, so let's say everything you're telling me is true. How does this help us solve this? Just look, this one, she told me about ghosts, about people she cared about. A woman named Anna that died to one of those things. She called them gates. And I think that big triangle thing in the sky is one of them. I could barely understand what she was talking about. Okay, okay, uh, so how do we close it or stop it or whatever? She, she talked about it somewhere in one of these notebooks. Miss Adler said she spoke through a, a, a portal, or a gateway, or whatever, to a Sergeant Griffin years after he died. He was on the USS Canaloa, stuck in time. These were my versions of, you know, of campfire stories, I guess. So, those scary translucent things that, I don't want to call them this, but I will. The ghosts, those things are them? The crew of the Canaloa? Oh, I don't know. I mean, may maybe they're completely different interdimensional beings. How would I know? But uh, just wait, there's more here. What we need is this guy. Uh, yeah, here it is. She writes, huh. Jacob, not in your head. Oh, yeah, sorry. She's, uh, she, she says that Harmonizing electromagnetic waves emitted towards a gate could successfully diffuse its source signal. See? See, so that's this this is what I thought when the transmitter went crazy. Th that first one was diffusing the signal and starting to cancel out the, the gate. So transmitters can diffuse the source signal. We can use them to stop it. So we use the transmitters then, right? Enough of them should knock out its power. Yeah, I think. I mean, we saw what the one did. Which is definitely what we want to do, because you know, Maggie says, she wrote here, that, that gates or portals, whatever you want to call them, can, in theory, destabilize the properties of our current existence. Which doesn't sound good. Man. But aren't we out of transmitters? H how would we do this? The general store is holding our transmitters, right? And climbing gear? Because if that's the case... That's what Evelyn said. Yeah, they have my stuff. So I know the owner, and I know where the key is. So that's no problem. After that, we'll have to put another three transmitters to triangulate the right harmonic frequency. The math dictates they have to be roughly equidistant and at the same height. So for us, that means a clear view of Edwards Island to compete with the signal traffic and get through to the other side of the harbor. After that, it should work and then the big portal and all the scary stuff that poured out of it will go away is that what you're trying to tell me that's what i think maggie adler's trying to tell us okay uh, uh, okay okay <clears throat> let's get back to the general store get those transmitters and gear 
I just hope we're right. Riley! Riley, are you there? Pick up right now! Over! Oh, it's Evelyn. We should loop her in. Riley! Hey, Evelyn. So, things are bad, but we have a plan. Sort of. Uh, over. Riley, what plan? What's going on? The readings we're getting on our end here look really bad. We just know, based on these figures, there's something electromagnetic that's building in intensity. Evelyn, hey, it's Jacob. Yeah, we know it's bad and, and getting worse, but we figured out that if we use the transmitters to nullify the bad frequencies, it can diffuse them completely. You figured it out? Figured it out how? Over! Some old lady's journals Jacob had lying around. What? Yeah, just, just don't worry, we know what to do. The transmitters will act as a net. It would be like the old radio towers. The geography's bend is like a natural amplifier. All we'd have to do is just place them high above sea level and it'll knock out the signal that's screwing everything up. Hmm. Uh, actually, this, that might work. Ah, and the stuff you need is just sitting at the general store right now. Ugh. That's not a big deal. That's Fred Hollinger's place. He's a buddy of mine. He keeps a spare key to the front door behind the back doormat. Hey, and I was gonna suggest just throwing a brick through the window. But this is better. Thank God for small towns. All right, I got a lot of stuff to get ready over here. Good luck, guys. Godspeed. Over and out. Oh, and Jacob. Sorry, I forgot. Did you ever find Athena? Oh, uh, uh, no. Not, uh, not yet. You know, I, I'm sure she'll turn up soon. Country dogs can handle anything, you know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, th thanks for checking. Over and out. Sorry, I, uh, my, my dog, Athena, got out last night. She goes on walks by herself all the time, but this is the first Something spooked her, but... I, I don't know. Oh man, that's... that's the worst. I'm sorry. Well, I'm... no, I'm, I'm sure she's okay. She, she goes off all the time. I'm hoping we'll just run across her. Oh, oh, sorry, wait, we have to... <laughs> ah, Jessica. Whenever you cross a bridge, you have to spit over the side. It's good luck. <laughs> well, there. Okay, made it. Just this way to the general store. Cross your fingers he never moved the key. Just, uh, follow me. It's right here. Okay, key should be right under the mat. Real high-tech security, you know? Ah, I'm feeling dumb. It's happening. Hmm, but which one? Dude, no, we're not 13 years old. Buy your candy like a goddamn grown-up. Eh, I'm all talk. Besides, the amount of free sugar in these things, I don't need to grow an eyeball on my foot. That's technically DNA, right? It depends on who you ask. So, we just won't ask anyone. There's the gear. Let's go. Mind if I take a look at the gear? A few more transmitters, and that looks like a climbing rope, clasps, everything we'll need. Which, yeah, I'm not really looking forward to that part. Try not to think about it, though. Ugh. We'll be fine, Jacob. With the rope, it's pretty easy, honestly. Easy for some people. Now we're set. Anyways, let's just, let's just focus on fixing it. We got our gear, we got our map. We're not restricted to the beaten path, so to speak. 
we should start walking to as above sea level as we can get. Take a look at your map, and let's pick where we want to go. Alright. Have an idea of where we're going? Uh, yeah, I think so. Doesn't seem too difficult. Okay, yeah. Let's do it. familiar have you heard that name before Massel? Uh, yeah yeah okay so olivia Massel is the teenage daughter of uh well the easiest way to say it is they're a cult the Massels, a well-known group of nutter butter lunatics extremely wealthy very insular very private her mom and dad actually died in a prop plane crash almost four years ago but she lives with her aunt and uncle now that weird thing on the trail path that's them parentage they call themselves and there are stories about people disappearing all right jacob seriously what are you suggesting here hey i'm just saying what i know and what i've heard and you can take it or leave it i just i, I think it's her Okay, so take this anchor. Somebody left this behind, which is good, because rope climbing requires them. See, just slide the rope through and hook. I haven't <laughs> done this since basic, but riding a bike and all that. Uh, just take it slow. <laughs> For me. Man, I was really hoping to avoid this, but, uh, take a walk on the wild side, Jake. Oh, God. Oh, God of God. Hey, isn't it earthquake season? Hey, isn't it shut the hell up and die season? There's a weird-looking lock on the door. It might be a radio lock. One of those things that needs a calibrated radio to tune open. They use alternate frequency RF signals to control the deadbolt. If we had a radio with a broader range, we could tune in its code and unlock it. Hmm. Ah, oh, man. Well, I don't think we can get around. It'll be impossible to get in unless we find one of those radios. Ugh. Let's just come back later. If we find a better radio along the way, great. If not, maybe we'll have come up with a workaround. Yeah, okay. Riley, you there? Over. Hey, Evelyn, what's going on? Over. I just wanted to see how you were doing and how it's looking out there. Over. Honestly, Evelyn, I, I don't even know how to describe it, but things aren't good. We're sticking with the plan, planning the transmitters to combat the portal, but we haven't made much headway yet. Over. The numbers are otherworldly, way off track from where they should be. Yeah, yeah, Jim, I know. Sorry, a co-worker's letting me know he couldn't get his car started. It's okay. Riley, I want to stick to the plan. Still plant those transmitters, but can you do me a favor? Could you give me a call whenever you plant a transmitter? It would help me help you with what's going on. Yeah, Evelyn, that, that's fine. Over. Great, great. It's important you call me before you head out to your next objective when you plant them, okay? It'll help a ton. Okay, okay, I'll let you go. Remember, I'm on seven. Good luck out there. Over and out. Uh, 
when they hired me for this, they said I was going to have to work with somebody. And I said, you know, that's fine. What, uh, what can you tell me about them? And they said, all we can tell you is that she used to live here and then she moved away. And now she's moved back. Yeah, and, and I remember thinking, that's funny. I never heard of anyone ever coming back. Um, tell you the truth, Jacob, in my case, this was the only job I could get. Ed burned a few too many bridges, and uh, not a lot of employers will take bartender references on an application. So, I needed to come back, really. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, got it. Hey, you know, your dad rewired my folks' garage when I was a kid. How's the... how's he doing? Still an electrician? Yeah, he's not doing too well, to be honest. You know, he had me kind of late, so he's getting up there now. That was part of why I came back, honestly, to be a little closer to him. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, give him my best when you see him. Look, you, you, you came back because you needed this job, and I know that it's going terribly wrong so far. But it's only the first day. I, who knows what tomorrow will be like? Can only go up from here, right? <laughs> Yeah, hopefully. Man, total strikeout tonight in terms of luck. Broken truck, lost dog, and now uh, this situation. However you classify it. Hey, never say never. Strikes don't necessarily have to stop at three. There's always room for more. And hey, there's strike four. Last night I had a dream. I was taking a walk and someone was approaching. It turned out it was me. And like, not a mirror, it was another me. Only he didn't have a face. And, and then I reached up to see if I did, but he now barks me awake before I can find out. Sorry, <laughs> just came to me right now. Just popped out of nowhere. Super creepy. Yeah, it stuck with me for most of the morning. Anyway, shake it off, Summers, right? Right. We'll just take the short path down to the beach, and then it's uh, just across the way. Should be a good lookout for a transmitter location past that. Watch, uh, watch your footing. It gets kind of steep. Yeah. I uh, got it. Careful. Man, I don't know how you do this so fast. How do you get to Carnegie Hall? Take piano lessons. Ah, oh, another anchor. See? We can climb down from here. Oh, goody. Hey, oh. you doing okay? You kidding? This is my uh, happy place. <laughs> Not too shabby. Yeah, I feel like I shouldn't be banging my knees against the wall so much, but yes. Hey, that's Olivia's friend. Charlie! Hey, buddy! Wait up! Jacob, wait! Let's stick together! He has something! Are you serious? Wait! Ugh. Open the gate. Hey, you, lady! You and uh, Gingerbread here better quit following us. Ugh, or bad me? things are gonna happen. Seriously. Will you just shut up, dude? 
Wait, come on, let's let's work something out. Open the gate, and we'll I'll I I, I have money. How about that? Twenty or seventeen bucks? Yeah, no, I'm not ten. This is stupid. Look, whatever you and your little friends are Don't doing. Don't follow me. Don't follow us. Stop what you're doing. Last warning. Wait! And gingerbread, come on. Are these your work hours or something? You look exhausted. And I mean that in a bad way. Oh, yeah? Well, why don't you eat something? And go to hell also. God, you and your entire freak show crew. Okay, okay. Jacob, he's gone. You can breathe. Oh, it's just mm, so annoying. And if we'd gotten here just two minutes earlier. <sighs> okay. Okay, it's I'm fine. There's probably a key for the lock at the ranger station. It's just up here. Ugh. So, uh, gingerbread. What's... Oh, yeah. Uh, that. It's, um... <sighs> this is incredibly dumb, but... Two summers ago, I was at the beach and I went to go to the bathroom in a, you know, one of the latrines they have there. And as a prank, some high schoolers pushed it over. And I fell out practically naked, and they call me gingerbread now, as a goof. And that's it. Not a whole lot to explain. Okay, but why gingerbread? Because my hair down there is pretty light, and in the sun it looked red, and so that's... that's it. It's just something some of them thought they saw. Like I said, it's dumb. Oh, uh, sorry. That's not too nice. Nah, who cares? Yeah, they can laugh all they want. I don't have homework. <sighs> okay. Whew, okay. That's the ranger station. So, you're welcome. I just hope the ranger's on for the night. Jesus, what happened here? Looks like, like, parentage ransacked the place. Or ha had a seance? God, I have no idea. It's kind of unsettling, seeing the little ceremonies of people devoted to things inscrutable. Ranger! Are you, uh, in the bathroom? No? Crap. There's broken glass over here. That guy, God, he totally wrecked the place looking for comm equipment. Little thief must have taken the ranger's walkie. Spectacular. Let's just look for a gate key to get back on the road. Roger. What's this? Oh, did they stuff a squirrel? The little fox says, Nutty the squirrel. I'm sure there's a, a story there. Found a key. There's no markings, but a pink sticker. Oh, awesome. That has to be for the gate. Well, it doesn't have to be, but, you know, hopefully. Oh, you know what? Sorry, I just remembered. How's, uh, your dad doing? The last time I saw him was back in high school. Yeah, but we were, uh... uh I was at the grocer, and he was before me in line, and the clerk asked about you or something, and, uh, your dad mentioned how Riley is a name after something? Is there a story there, or...? The only story is my mom wanted Anna after some Roman empress that fought with her legion on the front lines, but she left, so my dad could call me whatever he wanted. Oh. He also, your dad, mentioned how proud he was that you... I guess you just enlisted, and he was proud of you following in his footsteps. I don't think it was bullcrap, for what it's worth. Yeah, Jacob. Frankly, I think he was just happy I was out of his hair. Well, he said he was proud, so... But, you know, you obviously know better. You, uh, you're pretty good at this stuff, right? Good at what? Walking? No, come on, you know what I mean. You're like a athletic, outdoorsy. I trust you to start a fire. Was this like part of what you uh, what what you did in the military? This sort of thing? Was this like part of your training? Uh, no. My dad and I just went hiking a lot, so I know some of these trails. He teach me basic survival tricks: how to make fire from ice, crap like that. 
He was just kind of one of those guys. That's cool. Yeah, my dad was more of a, if you want to learn how to shave so badly, ask your mother sort of person. Which, you know, at the time I didn't really mind. I guess I still don't. Oh, I'm sorry. Of, of course, I'm making it sound like I was forced into bonding with my father. Well, you're... No, 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 you're fine. You didn't make it sound like anything. My dad was great. He was fine. We were fine. We just didn't do stuff like hike much. That's all. thinking about what they could be doing like what they could be trying to do parentage the cult just with all this you got to figure or at least i'm figuring there's two possibilities either they're a bunch of underbaked human beings making underbaked life choices just thinking this whole thing's a lark without really measuring the consequences i feel like there's going to be an or coming or what if they're right what if whatever they're trying to do is the right thing to do? I'd, uh, hate to be getting in the way of our one true opportunity at eternal salvation. Uh, really? You think so? I mean, I don't know, of course, but, you know, they believe in astrology, soul, warping, crap like that. Broken clock, twice a day sort of thing. Uh, I don't know, though. Just postulating. I'm also just trying to remind myself that I, too, was once a dumb asshole teenager who did dumb asshole teenager things. I'm trying to. Maybe not succeeding, but trying. There has never been a single teenager who was also not an asshole. It's, I don't know, biological law. Oh, my clue. Hey, wait, there he is. Hey! Ah, damn it! Stop! Crap, let's get that asshole! You come here! Don't, don't wait for me, just go! Hey, Jacob! You there, buddy? I'll take that as a no. Rover, Red Rover, who wants to come over? Hello? Are uh, who, uh, who is speaking? Who, who? Are you an owl? Tag, tig, tiggy, tips, touch and go and then you're it. If to play, just say okay. Okay, fine, whatever. If this, this is what you want. Just follow along. Sticks and stones can break my bones. And so can rocks, and so can blocks. Bloody and red, they'll kill me dead. No more night, no more light. Twenty. Nineteen. Warm. Eighteen. Seventeen. Brr, cool. Sixteen. The, it's the light. The light, right? Correct. Weeper, weeper, chimney sweeper. Had a wife but couldn't keep her. Had another, didn't love her. Chimney, the body of the woman was found after neighbors complained about a strange smell emanating from the house every time before. Warmer 
are still warmer. Twelve. Hot. Eleven. Ooh, hot. Burning. The chimney. It's the chimney. It has to be. Correct. Here comes an old soldier from Botany Bay. What have you got to give him today? I'll give him a block. I'll give him a rock. I'll give him a grave. I'll give him a cave. If you have any information regarding the disappearance of little... Is there an opening here? The footprints almost look like they go into the wall. Winner! Hickory dickory dock. Who is that hiding behind the rock? A shoe. What? What is left? I'll miss feeding you. I'll miss when you sat on my lap. Most of all, I'll just miss you being around. Goodbye, Lewis. You'll always be my favorite gecko in the world. I've... I, uh... I don't know what to do next. Well, everybody's different, but usually you say some nice words. Funny stories, favorite memories, any you want to tell Lewis? Well, I think my favorite memory is when you threw up on Mom's sandals. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Yeah, I'd actually forgotten about that. Blissfully forgotten. <laughs> I hadn't. to miss him so much. I'm really gonna miss him. You don't need to hug me. It's fine. I'm fine. Uh, yeah, okay. Whatever you want. Ugh, he's moving so slowly. I hope I die before you do. I don't want to see you like that. Please don't die before I do. Nobody talks about how scary funerals can be, huh? This is nothing, kiddo. There's gonna be much worse funerals. You gotta, gotta get used to it. Don't look away. I... I don't like seeing him alone. I... Can't we... Isn't there a way to get him back? I don't like seeing him out there. Sweetheart, I know it's hard right now, but... No, I want to be with him. I don't want him to be alone. I'm sorry, but kiddo, come on. You can't be with him, and that's all right. 
Rex? Damn it! Ugh! Damn it! What are you doing? I don't want to see him. I don't want to... Mom? Riley? Riley? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine, I guess. I'm here. I'm okay. Okay, good. Whew. You were just staring out into the ocean. Didn't blink for a solid minute. Yeah, it was impressive, I'll say. You might want some eye drops, though. Jesus. I uh, wish I had better news, though. Charlie, that kid, got away. And he took off over the hill, and I thought I was already getting too ahead of myself. Well, thanks for trying, anyway. I appreciate the effort. Trust me, my lungs do not. The path he was on funnels back to Tatiga Falls. So, maybe we'll get lucky and he'll still be there. Come on, let's hit the road. Oh, sorry, I forgot to kick the rope down earlier. I was, let's call it focused. Yeah, that's diplomatic enough. There he is! Son of a... God, these assholes! Hey, get back here! Hey! Hey, kid, we need to talk to you, okay? Ah, damn it! Oh, take a little tumble there, pal? Get up. Yeah, okay, asshole. You got me. What the hell do you think's gonna happen now, huh? You have no idea what you're messing with. The powers that they've given us? What? You wanna take a swing at me? Take a free shot, gingerbread. I got all night. I won't even move. Land a solid one, right there. Fish in a barrel. Uh, will you just shut up already? Let me tell you, you're not helping the situation. Oh, uh, what the hell do you know about it? You're as old as you are stupid. Stop yapping. A final warning. Ooh. You're just lucky okay, I'm- just tell us what you and your little pals are up to, and we'll think about letting you go. Letting him go? What we're doing tonight? It's gonna change our lives change everything hand over the stuff you stole from the ranger station oh this stuff are you kidding me oh god you are an asshole takes one to know one that's it i've had enough of this this whatever this is i swear to god if you don't start talking some sense right now you're gonna get your mouth smacked off your goddamn face hey whoa you understand okay all right enough jacob no, Riley. Just stop. Just stop, seriously. We're getting... This is getting bad. Getting bad? This night is literally falling apart, and it's this prick's fault. Him and his whole crew. They think they can mess with me and my, my stuff. And now tonight. Jacob, really, just calm down. We'll figure it out, okay? Fine. Whatever. Do it your own way. So, what, are you, like, a cop? No, I'm not a cop. I'm just trying to fix things. Fix the things that you and your friends broke. Now, tell me why you're breaking things at all, okay? Two sentences, go. We're making things right, and tonight's the only night we can do it. You want more? Because that's about as simple as I can make it. Yeah, I need more. That's not going to cut it. Speak in detail. Well, you can forget it. I'm not getting into it. I, I can't. I can't let her down. I just can't, okay? And besides, I need them to help me too. And I'm not about to start messing with that. Not for you. Let who down? Who are you talking about? I, wait, who's? Whoa, uh. Kid, uh, your eyes? Uh, he's, it's like he's sleepwalking. I don't know. This is nuts. What's 
What should we do? We can't just leave them, right? I, I know I'm hearing a radio signal. Jesus! Are we sure about this? It might, it might help them. I, I don't know. when they were both cadets stationed but she left the mother left never to be seen again Boys, back home. do you know me or, or what what do i have to do with this everything we will take whatever we need for this to work your future is our future now no matter what this? My future? W what does that mean? This has been a test of the emergency broadcast system. Stay tuned for further instructions. Is he? Oh, man. Uh, okay, he's... There's, there's no blood. Nothing's shattered. I think he's asleep. And not like unconscious, but like sleeping. I mean, that's good, right? I'm jealous. How good does a nap sound right now? I mean, paradise, but I'm just glad he's okay. Yikes. Sorry, Charlie. That looked rough. Both the falling and everything before it. I'm sorry, but back to the, uh, the, the stealing our future stuff. I mean, should we be doing, like, anything about that? How do you uh, want to handle that? Any, uh, any thoughts? Nothing's changed. Jacob, it's the same as it's been. We plant the transmitters. We stop those kids. We stop the ghosts. We go home and have a shower. Roger. Okay, transmitter. Let's find a place for it. And, uh, hey, I, I just want to say sorry about getting too hot with the kid. Don't sweat it. It's over. Thanks. I, uh... I, I'd place that transmitter here. I think it's our best bet. It's the highest point in the area. Well, that we can get to, at least. Oh, okay. Sounds good. Just got a vision from the future. We catch nothing and get takeout for dinner. I guess we gotta go home. Don't wanna piss off the, uh, yeah, right. They're usually very, the ends don't justify the means, so I'm surprised we're fishing at all. We're not catching anything anyway. Not if we don't use live bait. The guy at the store said so. Remember? Oh, uh, what, what are we using? What's the difference? The difference between what we're using and live bait is that our bait is dead. Mm, this is taking so long. Let's just go to seafood tables. Please? I know. Get used to it. It's your answer to everything, but ugh. Can we leave? Please, I'll share my hush puppies. You are young, and life is long, and there is time to kill today. And then one day, you find ten years have got behind you. Get out. This waiting, this is what it's all about. Waiting is what makes this, makes everything worthwhile. Well, it can also still suck. Which it does. You owe me so much pizza after this. Hey! Check it out! I, I, I think I got one! 
Dylan. Almost got him. Oh, can we fry him? Is that a thing? Sure, if it's big enough. Mm, it's dead. Mom? 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 Find something to hide under. Jacob! Were you, were you buried alive, too? Hey, it's okay, man. Take a second. I, okay, I'm trying to take it. Hmm, I would take all the seconds, but... <sighs> I just want to get out of here. Charlie must have left. Or I, I don't know what. I don't care. Let's just, let's just go. What about finding Charlie? Jesus, we chased the kid halfway through the freaking county. Yeah, and we found him, and then, you know, nightmare. So, seriously, screw Charlie, screw this... Waterfall, screw everything. We planted the transmitter. We're done here. We're leaving here. Whew. Oh, man, that was brutal. Hey, uh, you okay? I am uh, processing. Best I got for you. Hey, I was meaning to ask. When you were, uh, you know, in my house, in my bedroom is this, uh, thing I've been working on for, like, for, like, years. Clay sculpture? I can't remember if I covered it up or not, but, um, assuming I didn't, and assuming you took a look, and assuming you formed an opinion upon looking, what might that opinion be? Lots of assumptions there, I realize. But, uh, you can't make an omelet, <laughs> am I right? Yeah, I saw it. It was kind of hard to miss. Yeah, I have no idea how I'm ever going to get it downstairs. So, thoughts, questions, comments? Minor criticisms that'll keep me awake at 2 a.m.? Under this hat, I'm all ears. And conditioner. I genuinely, objectively, without a shred of consideration for politeness, liked it. Well then, I genuinely, objectively, uh, the, the, the rest of that, appreciate it. I usually just work with scrap metal. I figured, you know, branch out, Jake. It's a work in progress, both the sculpture and the branching. Maybe someday it'll leave the bedroom, have the world uncover it, you know? See if it was worth the dirty fingernails. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. A wonderful word. You know how it lets you off the hook of responsibility in such a gentle way. This is gonna sound, but I, I keep having flashes of high school passing you in the hall between third and fourth period. That's when I'd see you during the day. Everyone else always looked in a hurry, but you definitely weren't. <laughs> we ran in different circles, I think. And it's just weird, I guess, doing this together. It's, it's weird how things go. God, I hated school. Nothing personal against the process, but it's hard for me to sit still for very long. Oh man, me? I love sitting still. It's like my favorite thing in the world. If I don't have to move my body at all, that's a great day right there. Can I ask, there were like six kids who didn't get a yearbook photo, and I was always like, who wouldn't want to get their yearbook picture taken? It's senior year, because I'm at heart a dictionary salesman. But can I just ask, did you just not want to? If it's like personal, then forget to ask. My uh, mom left when I was a baby. She just couldn't handle it, my dad says. And sometimes I'd see people who look like her from pictures my dad had, you know? And on the day they took yearbook photos, I saw 
her, sitting in a car outside the school. It probably wasn't her. I mean, of, of course it wasn't her, but I just didn't go in. Bummed around with some older friends, saw a movie instead. Oof, sorry. That's, that's hard. I'll see her in reflections and passing windows and stuff still. I try to get over it, you know, but some things make it hard sometimes. So, embarrassing confession. Before my truck broke down, I was headed to the library to return a book I was a month late in returning. I'm talking 30 proper days, and I never even finished it. Athena and I walk there all the time. So I figured two birds, you know? You're a monster, Jacob Summers. I'm ashamed to know you. Terror of the fiction section, that's, uh, that's me. Yeah, but really, I could have waited another 30 because Kamina P.L. got rid of late fees last September. I mean, is it weird that I don't mind paying late fees? I get that getting rid of them promotes library usage, which is a big plus. But I mean, there has to be consequences. Life is nothing but late fees. So we're old, huh? I am old, yes. I am old. We are old. They should still bring back late fees. Anyway, now you know. Judge me. Mm, go ahead. You know what? At this point, you might as well keep it. Make the library really learn the lesson. Whoa, getting systemic. Maybe you're onto something. But my guilt will eventually eat my feet. I'll return it. starting to move around better keep that in mind yeah oh wait hang on look it hey, doesn't the doesn't the light seem weird riley jacob where are you hey olive branch are your shoes tied they're tied tied it's tied! Hey, it's because I need you to pay attention. It's tied! Show me. Hang on, look. See? Okay. Hello? Oh, wait, I... Why do I sound weird? The worst thing you can do to someone is waste their time. And killing someone's basically wasting all their time at once. It was a spider. I didn't know it was in the drain. And now, that spider that lived in our drain is no longer with us, is it? Animals wax and wane too, you know. Planet Shine isn't just for members of parentage. Hey, uh, hello? Can you hear me? So, you can have a sip of coffee later, but Olivia, not the whole hey. mug like last time. I just want her to learn. And she will learn. Now, what do you want to do today? I want to do everything! No! No! You! How did you get in here? You have no right to be here with them! Who was that? I just... 
I don't know what's going on. Why I can't keep it together. This is the right night? It has to be. They wouldn't have wouldn't have told me if it wasn't. I will get to Planet Shine. I will get to Planet Shine. I will. Riley? Riley, are you okay? You kind of zoned out. How are you holding up? I lost you for a second. I saw Olivia with two older people. I don't know. I think she was trying to do something in the, uh, the time stream. I am not sure. Trying to do what? What did you see? I think she was with her parents, maybe? They were talking about planet shine, that thing she says. I don't know. She seemed sad, desperate a little. Hmm. Come on, we still have two more transmitters to place. Let's figure out where to go next. Great. Another anchor for the rope. You getting the hang of it yet? I'm getting enough. Let's put it that way. Ah, bit of a leap there. Uh, we could climb down here. Also, it might take a little longer. I just don't think we can make the gap. Right? Yeah, we should probably climb down, just to be safe. Yeah, definitely. I think you would have broken every bone in your body if you tried to jump that. Actually, you're probably right. So, we, we want to go up there, but the caves are pretty well connected. We follow this one through, should wind up somewhere on the other side. She admittedly isn't the prettiest plan, but... Uh, unless this is a bear cave. In which case, we probably won't wind up somewhere on the other side. Not unless you mean the other side in some sort of religious sense. No, I don't think there are bears out here, but of course now you've got me wondering. Anyways, come on. Just this way, I think. Funny how just a little light makes everything both less and more spooky. Weird, right? Maybe it's just me. Uh, yeah, especially caves with bears in them. Okay, please stop mentioning bears. There aren't bears in these caves. Jesus, when did all this fog come in? Hey, uh, if you're on this frequency, pick up. Who's that? Riley. Yes, this is Riley speaking. Over. Man, you sound... Uh, actually, you don't sound at all how I thought you'd sound. But, uh, how's it going? Over. Yeah, I'm fine. Who's this? Over. Um, you know who this is. But I'll give you the space to figure it out for yourself. Okay. I don't want to waste your time. That's a pretty important resource. But my mom used to tell me stories. That's why I'm calling. Because one of the stories was about tonight. And the things that are going on. Anyways, I just had a hunch. I'll see you later. Hello? Anyone there? Over. Uh, hi? Over? Hi yourself. Can you tell me why you're on this frequency? You're speaking with Nick Stewart, ma'am. Over. I didn't call you, buddy. Over. No, it was you. The reception was bad, but it was you. Listen, I got you on the horn here, so can you do me a favor? 
You sound pretty clear, which means you're probably in Kamina. Right? Probably at the dock by Charity Point? There's an outpost for local fishermen near you. Can you take a minute and check if a blue backpack is in there? It's the outpost for local fishermen. I want to make sure it's still there. Yeah, uh, sure. I'll help out. A blue backpack? Yeah, awesome. Great. That'd be a big help. Just give me a ring if you see it. Thanks. Over and out. These, uh, caves are, um, connected, I think, to Garland. We'll have to go there later, so you'll see how widespread it is. If you, uh, know the tunnels well enough, you can walk to and from practically any point in town completely underground. Have you, uh, been down here before? Me, uh, personally? N oh, wait, wait, wait. You see that? Hello? Who's, who's out there? Well, uh, that was weird. Maybe it was just a shadow? Yeah, maybe. Oh, hey, check it out. We could probably climb down this. Wow, your night vision is way better than mine. I didn't even see this. Lead the way. alarm it's the wind tunnel i think I, I i might have seen something in the water but uh, never mind it's gone now anyway we'll be gone soon riley don't worry oh wait wow this is i've never been in here watch your step i don't think this was meant for tourists there's junk all over just keep a lookout for a way out definitely we'll do it's kind of sad seeing this thing so broken. At least there's no skeletal remains, I guess. Doesn't mean it was empty when it crashed. Just saying. True. No way. Yeah, that is a bird. Feathers, beak. It works. We should let it out. This, it, it shouldn't be in there. Yeah, I totally agree. But the cage is locked, though. Maybe there's a key? Kind of sad. Hey, look, Jacob, it's an anchor. Yeah, which means it's another rope climb adventure. You first. Uh, what is that? God, I don't know. Some kind of temporal anomaly? Like the thing in the sky? Let's... Avoid it, if, if we can. Uh, let's see what's ahead. Hey, wait, you're just gonna... We haven't seen if we can maybe just walk out. Look, we don't know what this thing will do. Let's just see what this does. It I might help. slightly to strongly disagree, but... Uh, okay. Intact, skin attached, I'll take it. I think we're back when the mine was somewhat operational. I don't think anyone's around. Which means we time travel. We have traveled through time. Uh, on any other day, I'd be screaming, but instead... Let's uh, see if the time tear opened anything up. Hmm. Okay, I'm uh, starting to get... Sorry, it's, it's not claustrophobia, but uh, we're just like... On the precipice of madness here, you know? As a kid, when I was anxious, my brother and I would play a game that kind of helped me out. It was called One Word Story. Basically, two people tell a single story, one word at a time, bouncing back and forth. Should help chill us out. Chill me out, at least. How about that? Uh, sure. Sounds good. Let's do it. Cool. Great. I'll start us off. Once. Now you go. Once. Upon... Oh, it, this always happens. I'll skip ahead. It's like playing through on golf. So, once upon a time, there was a... Okay, now you go. 
Monster. Ooh, spooky. Okay. Mm, named. Once upon a time, there was a monster named. Jacob. Hey, that's me. Oh, some referential humor there. Lovely. Hmm. So, okay. Everyone. Avoided. Poor guy. I guess him? Avoided him? So, did we win? Because I feel like a winner. Uh, sure. Why not? We won the game. Okay, so let's review. Once upon a time, there was a monster named Jacob. Everyone avoided him. The end. Not a... not bad. First time's always hard. Yeah, I don't see the best sellers list in our future. Well, it served its purpose. It's not always about profit, you hack. That was actually really helpful. Like, really. Hmm. Where does all ebbed? Maybe we can meet our bird's grandpa. Yeah, maybe. Uh, it's dead. I, uh... Uh, okay, that's worrying. Among other things. Let's get a move on. Oh, looks like it's working? Uh, how do we get up there, though? Yeah, don't know. Wonder if this... Easy peasy. Man, I can't believe this thing is working. This whole night is just melting my brain. Hey, be careful. I'm not dragging a corpse to the surface. Sorry. I don't care where you want your ashes spread. I'm careful. I'm being careful. Whew. Okay. It's uh, a little rickety, but uh, actually, yeah. Shoot. How are you going to get up? I thought I'd see another way once I was here, but this is a conundrum. I'll, uh, uh -oh. I... That, that doesn't seem good. Climb up, fast! I think this place is having a minor meltdown. Jacob, just take the time tear out. Get yourself safe. No, Riley, come on, you can do this. If you set the lift in a way that you can use it as a bridge, maybe. Back in, uh, you know, now. Whew, man. Yeah, thank the Lord or Lords above. Evelyn, you there? I planted the first transmitter. Great, awesome. The numbers are coming back. It looks so weird, like... Jacob Summers paused. The mountain stood its ground. He knew he needed to climb it. He knew he could climb it. But the doubt, oh, such towers of doubt, if he actually would. Riley climbed with ease. Riley always climbed with ease. What the hell are you doing? Narrating. It helps when I'm, uh, horrified. Helps to think that I'm like a character in a story versus, you know, actually me. Watch your head! Jacob was grateful. Embarrassed, but grateful. Evelyn, you there? I planted the first transmitter.
Great, awesome. The numbers are coming back. It looks so weird. Like How the frequencies look like they're decaying, but break if also, I right now? huh? It appears break, to be breaking a lot of rules Doppler established 200 snap. years ago. How are things looking? Does it feel weird out there? Over. Oh, it's pretty nuts out here, Evelyn. If I were you, I'd stay inside, hunker down. Over. <sighs> Upsy yeah, daisy. I, and no, okay. I should. Ten <sighs> I'm sorry. Box I'm, six. I'm waiting After on a call from my in? sister. We were supposed to get dinner because she lives in Kamina, and I haven't actually heard from her in a while. <sighs> sorry. I'm just thinking about that. If I sound distracted. Oh, uh, Evelyn. I'm sure she's fine. I don't know how far this thing has spread, but probably not further than the coast. Where does she live? On the coast. But uh, it should be okay. You're right. I just hope her phone's just dead. All right. Sorry about all this. Thanks for the call. Hit me up when you plant the next one. Over and out. Just a little bit further. So, getting close. Thank God. Okay, here we go. One ledge at a time. You feel okay climbing this one? Does it matter? Okay, I'll be fine. Let's just do it. Ah, ooh. <laughs> Careful. Ah, and my fingers are only bleeding a little. <laughs> the ladder's just up ahead. Okay, kiddo? Uh, Dad? I don't... Wait, what are you... Mother bears will protect their young, especially during mating season, so be extra careful not to break that light. Hey, look, kiddo. I'm sorry you couldn't go on your fifth grade field trip to the National Park. I know you didn't want me to come along and chaperone. You never liked a crowd, but... I'm just sorry I couldn't afford it. But we can do lots of hikes like this one over the summer. Oh, I don't care about that trip. Not really, anyway. Your, uh, teacher said really nice things about you. Said you did really well in science class. And Miss Cavendish said you wanted to write your paper on Mom. Riley, she expects you to interview someone for that. You have to think of somebody else. Somebody more available. And I don't mean me. Why? Why can't I interview Mom? Riley, you know why. Your mother, she was incapable of most things. She couldn't love me, and she couldn't love you, and I know in your heart you want to find out why, but there's no why there. Her soul just has too many cracks. You see, it just can't hold anything for very long. You understand? I think so. Good. We can talk about it later, after we find the clearing. Oh, shoot, I think we took a wrong turn. It's okay. Climb up this ledge, and I'll meet you around the other way. By the creek. Won't take me an extra three minutes. Now, I'll see you up top in a bit. Hey, oh, there you are. I called and called, but echoes, that was... I didn't want to, you know, leave without you, though. I, uh, I think my, um, uh... Riley? You okay? I, I just saw my dad for a second. It was another time thing. I, it, it's okay. I'm, I'm okay. It was just, you know, it's, it's nothing. I'm good. Let's uh, let's just keep going. Oh, uh, okay. Let's uh, let, let's do it. All right, let's get out of here. I'm good on caves for. Farley, come in. I'm lost. On my way out. 
Oh, that's a uh, uh, that that must be Violet. Was her name? I, I think she was out here somewhere. Hmm. We must be in range. And keep a uh, keep an eye out. I think, yeah, this is near the top. Got to be a good transmitter spot somewhere around here. Now that I've had a minute or so to process, despite the fact that I went back in time to use a collapsing elevator from the turn of the century, I'm doing all right, surprisingly. Specifically regarding the, uh, the elevator, I should say. Wow, that's just great. We're all very proud. I smell sassafras, and that's just fine. You frass that sass. No, no, uh, no, R don't Riley, hurt look, me. It's that girl, Violet. She's one of parentage. Come on, we have to help her. She's gonna fall. Don't Come on. cry. Don't die. Wait. Ah. No, I can't believe this is happening. Because I told them I would. Jacob, what, what are you? Uh, what are you doing, pal? I'm seventeen. I'm seventeen. I am. Violet? Oh, crap. Nothing. Okay, don't, don't fall, okay? Maybe I should have just climbed the cave with you. You doing okay? The peak is just over here. One more thing about school and then I'll drop it because I don't want to ruin the morning. You can't be getting into fights anymore. I know that girl Julie spread some rumor, but uh, they're gonna kick you out of school if you keep it up. No more friends, no more science class. I don't care. Well, let me be clear. You'll still be going to school, just not the school you'd want. Hey, do me a favor and show me that penny you got in your pocket there. When I install electricity in someone's home, I bury a really long, uh, let's call it a stick, under the ground. This stick is made of copper, like that penny. We call it grounding very important part of the job. Why'd you do that? Well, electricity is, uh, is a lot like you, actually. It's always mad. And being mad is what lets electricity do its job. But sometimes it can be too much, and that's when people get hurt. Just focus on the penny, and just let it go. Just let go of being mad. Because sometimes electricity just needs to go somewhere. Sometimes, you know, sometimes a lot of things do. Um, is this making sense? I haven't chewed gum since I was 12. I'm already late for school. I have a test in history and I can't make it up. Just because you went out drinking, I caught the first. To what? Doesn't mean you can destroy this place for me. I didn't lose it. It's here somewhere. I'm leaving. I don't know where the rest is. Okay, I, I just must be missing something. I haven't chewed gum since I was 12. I'm already late for school. I have a test in history, and I can't make it up. Violet, I need my purse to go to the interview. I shouldn't have to do this. Unless you 
want to get a job. Just because you went out drinking, I want your purse. Do what? Doesn't mean you can destroy it Wednesday for me. I didn't lose it. It's here somewhere. I'm leaving. Do not walk out that door. Help me find it. I don't know where your purse is. You take my gum out of it all the time. I'm sure you saw it last. I haven't chewed gum since I was 12. Just help me. I'm already late for school, Mom. I'll write you a note. I have a test in history, and I can't make it up. I don't care, Violet. I need my purse to go to the interview. I shouldn't have to do this. To get a job. Just because you went out drinking last night and lost your purse. Do what? Doesn't mean you can destroy this Wednesday for me. I need it. Is it over? Feels over. Okay, I think that's, uh, sorted. Let's see if we can help the kid. Listen. Stay right there. I mean it. Okay, I'm, I'm... We're gonna stay right here. I have no reason to believe that you're real. It's only real if Olivia says it is. They've been talking to each other forever. At least that's what it feels like. You didn't know who's been talking to who? Uh, Olivia and them. They won't let me stop. I just wanna go home. Come on, Violet, can you just, can you just back away from the bridge a bit for me? Which way is my house? Do you know where I live? My mom's waiting for me. I don't think she's okay, Riley. <sighs> Just keep heading that way, away from us. You should end up near the cliffs. Might be some climbing. You okay with that? I'm going to get my friends and go home now. Uh, thank you. Would have been nice. Don't let them take you. Don't worry. They won't. <sighs> Just hope you know what you're doing. Because I don't know if just letting her run off into the night was the right call. Don't give me too much credit. I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, well, let's find a high spot for the transmitter. Come on. Doke. First couple times worked. This should be the same deal, right? Toes crossed. Ah, there it goes. Huh. All right. Jesus. 
seem to be working. Yeah, go us. Go you, honestly. I'm just glad you know how to work this stuff. Let's get back on the trail. Hey, Evelyn. The second transmitter's planted. Any news? Riley? Hey, sorry. I'm the last one here. The rest decided to hike back to the hotel. One too many calls from weird voices, I think. Finally pushed Jim out the door. All right, let me look at these readings. Okay, this is... Oh, wow. So, wave particles in water move perpendicularly to the wave's direction of travel. And airwaves oscillate in the same direction. These frequencies are moving in every direction. That's not normal. Or possible. Uh, I don't so talk what does that it. mean? Over. I don't want to talk about it, and you can't make me. Huh? Uh, oh, I'm... Brandon is a jerk, and I'm not sorry I told him so. And I said I was sorry for pushing him, but I'm not sorry about the rest. So I don't want to talk about it anymore. Okay? I don't want to. Okay. No talking then for the rest of the night. Oh, I guess that means we won't be able to get burgers later, though. Oh, I guess I'll just make a salad instead. I don't want a salad. I told Brandon I was sorry. I told Mr. Severson I was sorry. And I am sorry. I mean, he wouldn't stop making fun of my hair. But still, I'm, I'm trying, Mom, to be, I don't know, better. I know you don't believe me. I just get mad, and it's like, it's like a sneeze. My hand still really hurts. Yeah, sorry to break it, kiddo, but you really can't just punch every problem. There's flaws and things to prevent that. I know. I know. I hate getting angry. I hate the feeling. I hate not being able to turn it off. Here, it's a penny. A penny? What for? Next time you're mad, just take out that penny and focus on that instead. It'll absorb it, like, like anything, and you'll just be able to let it go. Your anger, I mean, not the penny. Hey, what are you doing? We both know that's not gonna work. No, I don't want to... to... Uh... Sorry. I, I was just back in fifth grade, yelling at a teacher. Oh, God. Are we... Oh, Jesus. Are we just going crazy? I mean, never say never. I keep seeing this, like, this kid. And he knows me, and... Yeah. You're not getting that? N no. I I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm apologizing, but I'm apologizing. Sorry. Hey, fisherman guy. Sorry, but I can't find the pack. Oh, fine. Uh, look, this is an emergency line for boaters only. I'm retired now. But I was sort of an amateur explorer. Never charted anything, but I'm all over Kamina. So if you need any info about the area or Edwards Island, I've been all up and down the coastline. Just give me a holler. Anytime. I'll be up all night. Sure, I just might. Over. Okay. Thanks for the help again. Over and out. Hey, Evelyn. The second transmitter's planted. Any news? Riley? Hey, sorry. I'm the last one here. The rest decided to hike back to the hotel. One too many calls from weird voices, I think. Finally pushed Jim out the door. All right, let me look at these readings. Okay, this is... Oh, wow. So, wave particles in water move perpendicularly to the wave's direction of travel. And air waves oscillate in the same direction. These frequencies are moving in every direction. That's not normal. Or possible. Uh, so what does that mean? Over. It means things aren't right. And the rate of decay on these, it's... This is unbelievable. Oh, crap, my mom is calling me. Crap. I haven't heard from my sister yet. She, she's gonna have
ask if I talk to her. I'm getting really worried, but my mom's gonna flip. Ugh. Crap. I don't know what to do. The truth is worth it, Evelyn. If only because if something did happen, it's a lot better to have been upfront about it from the beginning. Over. Yeah. I, I think you're right. God, okay. This call is going to suck. Sorry, Riley. I have to take this. I'm still here for you whenever you need to chat. Over and out. Hey, Riley, hold up a second. Listen to this. I'm, I don't know what happened, but I ran into that lady in Gingerbread. The lady stopped Jacob from, like, getting into a fight with me, practically. Oh, really? She, actually, her and that guy helped me out a little. I'm heading to the church now. Over. Stop talking on open air! Shut up! Wait, wait, wait. But is the, is the plan to still run the radio station and kill their transmitter array? Over. Shut up! Seriously! There is no plan. But There is no plan! Um... Uh, okay, that didn't sound good, right? Uh, no, it doesn't. We're talking about disrupting the transmitter signals with the radio station, which, unfortunately, could potentially work. Which, uh, isn't good. Okay, but what would that have to do with the church? That's where they said they are going, right? You're talking about... Th they have to be talking about the community center. That group, Parentage, that took over the lease. And sometimes they rent out the space, but... Parentage puts out a weekly address. It's like public access, but worse. Super strange stuff. I, I think they're going to use whatever equipment they have to try and screw up our night. Mm. You know, you know, if we can get to their equipment and turn it off, or just break it first, I mean, they're not there yet. Olivia's friend screwed up. I know it sounds caveman, but I think it's the only option we have. Hey, if that's the only plan, then fine. We don't really have a lot of time to waffle. <sighs> True. Okay. You know, when I first heard about the frequencies, the, the weird radio chatter, I thought, man, Maggie, really onto something. Way before any of the rest of us was. And this is weird, I know, but I couldn't help but think about how I'll be looked at later by anyone who knew me. The, the, the lonely old hermit who was right once. I just don't want my life to be defined by inertia. It won't be, Jacob. At least not if I'm around to tell the townsfolk your stories. You'll be perceived more like a, a troll, snatching school children from under bridges. Oh, good. I have visions of me in the future, different dogs, different shows on TV. But I haven't left. I haven't done anything. I don't talk to my brother in New York, really, ever. And I think it's because he feels bad for me. I just hope he's wrong to feel that way. He is wrong. He might look like you, but he doesn't have your brains. Thanks, Riley. I'll quote you on the Christmas card I'll send him this year. Hey, Riley. Lights on over there? 
Over. Hey there, Nick. How are the waves? Over. Let's settle on different. I'm an amateur sailor, you know, but I read books. And if you're learning to sail, the first thing you'll read is, the ocean is never still. Never trust calm water. But tonight, that's all there is. It's still as a cup of water. Never seen such a thing. Still, like, frozen? It's not that cold, right? Over. Right, no, not frozen. sense would have me steer back home, but, uh, I should see what's out there. I'm gonna need a tether, though, so if you don't mind, just reach out on the semi-regular. Make sure I haven't completely gone ass over tea kettle. All right, Riley, you keep an eye on the dirt, I'll keep one on the drink. Over and out. First, seems pretty quiet. Just uh, follow me. It's right here. Is this gate normally open? Uh, not this late. Olivia might have beaten us here. There's radio equipment around here somewhere. Let's just find it and destroy it before they get here. We can start upstairs, or... Yeah, let's just look. We don't need to spend time making a game plan. Yeah, you don't have to sell me. Now, if I were a radio station transmitter with a long-range antenna, where would I hide? I know they must broadcast from here, but from which broom closet? It doesn't help that it's so dark. Warm, at least. Oh, oh! This is one of those... We, we used to call them casters in the army. It's a radio with a broader range. It'll work on, on that lock back in Garland. Radio locks. Oh, awesome. Upgrade. Well, found the antenna. Looks too sturdy to damage, honestly. Yeah, looks like it's from the 50s. Or 40s? A military tech from that era looked very similar. This stuff is made out of alloys that I ain't gonna bend. Let's find the control panel that works it. of the mountains. Hey, Jacob, you know what this thing is? Uh, I have no idea, actually. But see the symbols they painted? Weird, right? Wait, I remember now. Those markings when we walked in, they looked so familiar. I've seen these around town. A lot. And, and, and they always looked kind of, you know, amateurish. Like young people made them. And, and with a purpose and a sequence. I think it's how Olivia and them communicate. Right? Are you saying that they, they copied these, or, or what? Uh, maybe. Hmm. Yeah, I, I just wonder what any of this has to do with... Hello, hello. Are we all shimmering tonight? Yesterday evening, the world had its first glimpse of the far side of the moon. Are you saying that they copied these, or, or what? Oh, I hate when I do this. Is this a... 
Was this a trick or something? They are going to come here and... Yes, yes, they are. We heard them. Don't let these things confuse us. If we don't destroy that parentage equipment, then our plan won't work. Let's, uh, let's just find the station gear. Fast. Hey, Jacob, there's something off about the floor here. It feels hollow, right? Ooh, look, see? This goes down to a basement. The lock looks strange. There's no keyhole or combo. I don't think I've seen anything like that before. How would they ever open it? Huh. There's gotta be a way in. Even if it's storage, they'll need to get it sometime. Hard to argue. Aha! See? I knew the radio from upstairs would come in handy. There's a radio lock on the panel here. It's old military tech from like the 50s. They use alternate frequency RF signals to control the deadbolt. But we can use this radio with its broader range to tune in its code and unlock it. Um, theoretically. Oh yeah, I think Maggie actually had something to do with these. I'm, I'm not entirely sure though. Let's try it. Awesome. That's some fine radio unlocking. Whew, thank God that worked. I was completely out of ideas. Cross your fingers, there's not just a bunch of old blankets down there. <coughs> oh, sorry. The dust is getting to me. But yeah, jackpot. Now look at this stuff. That's a Rhino 320. Oh, control board for the station. Check out the antenna cord going up through the floor. She would have won beauty contests in 1978, but not so much now. Okay, let's, uh, let's smash it. Or, uh, something. It just can't be functional when Olivia gets here. Man, it's a shame to just wreck it, you know? Doing the Lord's work is never easy. <laughs> no, it is not. Whoops. I guess the cult members will need to get their traffic updates from some other source now. Okay, that's around. done. Let's... Well, where... where Alyssa, would you This you hear place that? is... It wasn't in your shed. What's the, uh, no. the kids? You said Olivia it in the shed. It wasn't in the shed because he doesn't keep it in the shed. Wait, Olivia, I thought we were here to broadcast the... Yes, we're here to cancel out their stupid transmitter array. But if we don't also fix our antenna, locking out their signal won't help us. And your uncle has a, a toolbox somewhere? What was that? Ah, crap. Is, is that? Riley, are you in here? Okay, let's take a breath. Take a breath? You're standing in time devotional, you disgusting piece of garbage! Do you have any idea where you are? This building, these walls, are okay. sacked. I know you're upset, Olivia, but let's talk, okay? We're here, let's talk. Talk? I don't talk to earthworms. Earthworms wouldn't be able to understand. Understand what? What are you even trying to do? Is parentage? Parentage has no idea I'm even here. My aunt and uncle are clueless. They never approve of the ceremony. It's off chart. I'm taking it myself. Olivia. Charlie, take them down. You have your knife, right? My knife? Are you kidding me? You brought it. To like... Okay, like, whoa, slow down. This is getting insane. Charlie, focus up. Don't listen to their bullcrap. Come on. She was... Nice to me before. What does that even mean? Nice? I really don't want to hurt anyone, Olivia. I mean, Charlie, I know. There's nobody here that can make you do anything you don't want to do. I gave you a second chance at the waterfall. Show me you earned it. I. God. Olivia, I'm. Olivia, I. I don't like this. Who gives a crap what you like? I. I don't. I'm not quitting, but. But what, Violet? Okay, just leave her alone, Olivia. You didn't see her at Charity Point. She's had a rough night, right, Violet? I, uh, I... Nothing has even happened yet. It's all noise and fury. They haven't fixed it. Tonight is the blue moon. Yanis is aligned. Don't you get it? 
This is once every ten, no, twenty years. And once this is done, we are all set. Absolutely nothing is going to- I'm, Hold on. I'm sorry, Olivia, but I'm out. <laughs> what? Yeah, I can't do this anymore either. You're both out? We, we just- in many forms of games, being out of bounds refers to being outside the available playing area and can result in severe penalties. Shut up! Right. Please. Please. Oh. Hello. Please. Well, enough. Hello. You cannot triumph. You will not reach even if we must push you out. Hey! Whoa. They're turning off the power. Hey, come on. Turn that back on. God damn it. Olivia, what? Hey, lady, I don't know what the f you think you're doing here, but this ain't your house! Huh? Look, it's an ensign. What do those little triangles do again? Don't mess with it, those things are dangerous. Olivia, find time and signal. And we can shelter you. It's a particle of grace. Luna is speaking to us. Wait, Olivia. If you both want out, then go. I know my place in this universe. Wait, Olivia, stop! Crap, Riley, we have to stop her. Get a radio. Get away. Oh. Ah. Oh. Right, let's move! No, Olivia, this is... You're crazy Violet, if you... Get the hell out of my way! Olivia, no, wait, Riley, she helped me. You, you... You what, she talked to you before? She pretended to listen to your prattle? Wake up! I've been your friend for 15 years! You went out of your oh, house come and... on, we're pals, right? I tried to help you. Olivia couldn't even answer your calls. Quiet! I... I don't know what to do! Riley, come on, get it! Out of the way! Okay, this sucks. Can we stop this, please? I see the radio. It's over. Crap, it's... Riley! Yeah, I'm going Charlie, for Riley, can, can you get out of my way, please? I'm sorry, Olivia, but Riley's been nicer to me than you have in eight months. And you... I don't know, ever since your parents... Get out of the way! No! I'm gonna get... Just Ow! Move. Fine! Fine! Jesus! Get away from her! Get out! Just shake off! Oh, God. I'll be amazed by Luna's glory, maggots! Oh, will you just shut your trap? Change it back! It does what it needs to. We are only custodians. You're all so fortunate. You can't control this, Olivia. Not even a little bit. Oh, shut up! I'm sorry, Olivia. I know you obviously want to do something here, but it's not going to happen. You're done. It's done. I need this to happen tonight. It's the blue moon. What are you talking about? It's her parents. Shut up. Don't talk to them about it. It's... it's... it's none of their... it's nothing to do with them. What is this about your parents? Olivia? you want to know they died in a plane crash two years ago you've been here what an hour i'm sure you've heard this story by now it's everyone's favorite to tell the crazy lunatics who joined a cult and died leaving their daughter to her aunt and uncle well it's not a cult it's a faith and it's real tonight only proves it i don't know if tonight really proves anything olivia. i don't know man olivia cut to the end of the page why are you doing this why am I doing this? Have you ever wanted to just 
stay. Just stay in a moment that you know won't last. But that you know is better than anything that will ever come after. Parentage believes that all time, all matter is constant and persistent. And you can talk to other times, other versions of you of loved ones. On certain days when the lunar veil is weak. Tonight's the blue moon. And if you give me back my radio, I'll be able to bring them back. I'll be able to live in that memory of them forever. And no one, no faulty engine screws. You almost got your friends killed to hang out with people who are already dead. Not exactly an even trade. Whatever. There are beings on the other side. You've seen them too. They're not what you think. They can help. Help you, help me. Help everyone. Just give me back my radio. And I'll show you. No one will care when you die. Believe that. One more thing. These beings. I think they're the ghosts of a World War II relic. What exactly have these things said? Leave is possible. I am feeling. God, can't you just leave them alone? You know, I like you. I like you a lot, Riley. I really do. I wish this didn't have to be so hard for you. This sucks, right? It sucks. You hate it. I hate it. Nobody wants to see their friends possessed. Nobody wants to see them. I'm sorry, the night's progressed to the point where I can speak a little more freely. My name's Alex. These are my friends. Uh, Alex? Yeah, Alex. Named after my great-grandmother, Alexandra. We were teenagers. Like Olivia and her friends. We went to Edwards Island, I don't know, years ago, months, weeks from now. It's hard to tell. It used to be a military base, but now it's... They got it, Ren. Thank you. We got stuck. That's the point. And now we can't get out. We can get out. We just need a little boost. I'm still unclear on how the whole thing will work. Well, Clarissa, you don't need to know how the whole thing will work. Um, what kind of boost? Riley, listen to me. You have been the arrow in my side for a while. Whenever we try to get out, whenever we get close, it's never quite worked. Never stuck. But this time it will. And do you know why? I've never tried it with Olivia. And she has a fire in her that will burn away every obstacle. You aren't the hero of this story, Riley. Remember that. Wait, hold on. Your plan with the transmitters? It's a good one. It is. It just might stop us. If that's what you want. Do you know what you want, Riley? Do you? Because I've traveled a million miles and a million more years just to watch you eat breakfast. Uh, 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 all right, uh, that, that, that was real, right? I was just... Are you okay? All this time, I thought it was the submarine. I thought, I thought that everything was just them. That they were the beings Olivia was talking to. But it's kids. Just kids. It, it, it's kids that go to Kimina High. I probably did lawn work for their parents. I, I don't know. It just changes things. That they're really stuck. And we're fighting them off. It just... It's hard to believe. It's hard to believe any of this is really happening. Jacob, this doesn't change anything. Whether or not they were in study hall or worried about boys or grounded when they died, they're still the same beings that have been messing with us all night. And we'll destroy things, destroy other lives if we don't act. Yeah. Y yeah, I know. It's it's just a lot. Okay, never mind. Garland, right? That's the last location? We should head out. Huh. I guess, I mean, at least Olivia doesn't have her radio anymore. Takes a wee bit of pressure off, but we still need to finish the transmitter array. Yeah, could we... Sorry, but, but could, could we just take a breather for a second here? Uh, 
Sure. I mean, yeah, we earned it, I guess. Two minutes. So, parentage is just moon gazing and yoga mats. That's good to know, I guess. They actually remind me of another group like the, the Migration. I remember when they were pitching tents in the 90s. But the actual act, the natural act, Migration, pretty interesting how baby birds do it instinctively. So sometimes programming, like bird programming, has a glitch and birds will actually fly north you know, instead of south. And the ones that do, they, you know, they hook up. And suddenly, you have a whole new generation of birds going the wrong way. You know, I wonder about the other birds, the ones flying the natural way, when they see birds going in the opposite direction. And I just wonder how many of them change their mind, turn around. I wonder how many of them find a different way. <sighs> You know, this reminds me of that story I told you. I'm pregnant. Uh, beg pardon? I found out before I took the job. I'm two months. Ah, then I do have that 2020 hearing. Or, yeah. Uh, congratulations? I'm sorry, is this a balloons and gay type of thing? Or, uh, let me, uh, yeah, let me know there. No balloons. Copy that. Uh, okay. I am understanding more why you'd want to take this job. Security, you know? I, I had sense of security. Maybe you're planning to move back. I don't know. Actually, actually, I'm gonna, I don't know why I'm talking so much. So I'm just going to take one colossal uh, metaphorical step back and let you drive our uh, little chat here. Starting now. Step taken. Look, Jacob, I just needed to say it out loud. I haven't told anyone yet. You're technically not supposed to before three months, but whatever. Uh, if you don't already know, which one would you prefer, a boy or a girl? I, I have no idea when you can, you know, uh, identify. Speaking honestly, I'd prefer a girl. But something tells me I'm going to be disappointed in that department. And, uh, any names? And if I'm prying, please say so. I'll just immediately stop talking. Absolutely no idea. Yeah, uh, you probably don't want to paint yourself into a name corner, you know? So, uh, bird's eye, how do you, you know, feel overall about it? Petrified in just every way possible and more ways to be invented, I'm sure. Yeah, sure. But hey, how often are things as scary as we think they're going to be? You know, I mean, tonight is a bad example, but still. Uh, uh maybe this is weird, but, um, thanks for telling me. I appreciate it. <laughs> You're welcome. Not many now. Lucky me. Boy, night of surprises. But it's uh, it's nice to have one that's different in a good way. Come on, one last transmitter. I think I know a good spot. Olivia will never forgive us, you know. How's that sit with you? Like, she'll never, ever. Hmm, so either that's a new species of bird we're naming after me, or that is a phone ringing, uh, somewhere. Okay, we just did a major bingo square. A pay phone ringing in the wild? Yeah, I should have gone somewhere and buy a lottery ticket. Oh, d dude, you better be packing hand sanitizer. Uh, hello?
Shelly, wh who's, who are you talking about? Not to cabin. Wait, are you are you saying the Shelley person and you are are related or? Sonar technician John Gerald Shelley aboard the USS Kanaloa talks to a mess attendant about. Venture for her mother. Three. What the hell was that about? Yeah, but a warning for who? I don't know a Shelly. I don't think I do either. Let's just, just not think about it. We got stuff to do, and this might just be a distraction. What is this? Oh, no way. I buried this. When I was a kid, Maggie had me bury letters for her. Weird, I know, but she paid five bucks each. I promised I'd never read any of them. Never did. Never will. Keep your eyes open. I guarantee there are more of these out there. These feel a little more considered than random stray thoughts, but okay, Maggie. So... Can I ask you the dumbest question in the world? And I, I mean the dumbest. Dumb. Embarrassing. Throw a sad rock. Yeah, sure. Why not? Because it's dumb. It's the dumbest. But, but I'm still asking. Do you, uh, want to be friends after this? And, like, just friends. Legit. No prefixes. And not even, like, best friends. More like, it's 3 a.m. I need a cheeseburger and a cherry danish. Who would join me on this quest? Yeah, I'm, I'm in. But, dude, that is not the dumbest question. Do you want to be my friend? What am I, nine? I, I'm happy with your answer. But still, it's a dumb question. But I'm still happy. So, we are officially friends without prefixes. What do we call this new friendship? It needs a title. For, for uh, you know, the record? You already named it perfectly. We are 3 a.m. food friends. That's, like, a thing. Or, rather, we're making it a thing. Right now. Hell yeah, 3 a.m. food friends. Yes, thing made. All right, well, let's survive the night, and maybe someday we can get drunk playing mini golf. You know, it always blows my mind that someone had to uh, invent the bridge. Like, I know they happen naturally, lightning hits a tree and it falls down and all that. But at least once, at one point, there was some guy looking at a river going, Hey, wait a second. We can just go over it. They, uh, they put this one up in the late 1800s. I guess that's why I'm thinking about it. How people must have looked at it, at the bridge. And for some people, it was their only way to work. Maybe it was where they had their first kiss, right? A first fist fight, where they proposed. But now, that bridge doesn't mean anything. It's just, uh, you know, I, I don't know. It just makes you think, I don't want to live forever. But I don't want to die forever either. You know what I mean?
I don't want to be actual nothing, you know? Sure, but it's unavoidable. Eventually, the universe will forget about Shakespeare. And if the bard ain't going the distance, sorry, you ain't either. Oh, great. Let's upgrade the dread from mortal to existential. Oh, hey. See that? Not the church, but the behind the church. It's part of the old mine system. We could probably get up there if we find the other end of the tunnel. Which, you know, big if. Um, sorry, am I missing something? I mean, hey, who doesn't love claustrophobia and centipedes, but how does that help what we're doing? Right, sorry. Got ahead of myself a little. What I mean is that the ledge up there seems like the best spot to drop the transmitter. To me. But full transparency, I honestly just wanted to suggest a plan A before it became, let's climb the rickety church tower. Maybe you have other ideas. Let's not rule out the church just yet. Hey, you're the one with the transmitters. Locked. Story of my life. Huh, okay. Well, less than ideal. So, uh... uh it's never simple, huh? Yeah, there's a reason this place was abandoned. What is this? Uh, broken? I'm not 100% sure what it used to be, but that doesn't look functional. Huh. I think I've seen one of these before. Uh, it's a weird-looking weird thing, Jacob. Please don't touch it. Oh, I'm, I'm not. Broken or not, who knows if it's grounded. I'm just curious. I wonder what that cable is connected to, and what it's for. Okay, this is how my mind works. I just remembered something. Knock, knock. Who's there? Howie. Howie who? How are we gonna hide this dead body? Get it? Yeah, that was uh, beautiful. I know. Just trying to lighten the... Never mind. Check it out, another one. The last one was helpful. Maybe whatever's inside this one will be too. Or, uh, whenever's inside. Oh my god. Amazing. Riley, this is amazing. Look! Like, Mother Earth, man, she is no slouch. It smells a lot better, too. Yeah, I should have just left it alone. Oh, this is much better looking than any hardware store. Most hardware store, sure, but I've seen some lookers. You'd be surprised. This would be the entrance to the caves and the way up to the ledge, but nope, caved in. Not gonna work. Not like this, at least. Uh, we should find some other way. Let's just keep looking. Worth a shot. You never know, right? Uh, that seems out of place. This is some kind of equipment. I can't tell what it's monitoring. Huh. I think I've seen one of these before. Is it, uh, on or working? Whatever it is? I don't think so. Nothing's, you know, lit or whirring inside. Wonder what that cable is connected to and what it's for. Why are there so many, uh, wires, cords, cables, whatever, leading into that building? This isn't open still, right? No, no way. And they look, uh, Fresh? Sure, we'll, we'll call them fresh. Either someone was here recently, or someone is here presently. 
Well, that's probably not good. No, probably not. Jesus! Hey, if you're in the post office and you're a human being, uh, answer this, huh? please. Who's that? Uh, uh hi. Y yes, I'm I'm a human. Yeah, of course you are. At least tell me you didn't break my equipment. Over. I uh don't think we broke anything. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Name's Hank Chapman, and I just took your picture, assuming you were facing the camera. Otherwise, it'll be the wall. Well, aren't you the lucky one? I usually charge for headshots. Over. That flash wasn't meant for you. Listen, I'm an amateur hobbyist investigator of the inexplicable. And I don't know if you've noticed, but tonight has been... The professionals would likely call it unusual. Around town, I've set up a series of EMF boosters. Equipment I use to capture, well, let's call it evidence of the unusual. Something's been screwing with them, so I need them checked. One of them is outright not responding. I'm assuming the worst. Can you help me out? Sure, you got it. It's a good deed for messing up the picture. Think of it as karma. Now, there's a generator in the post office with you that powers the boosters. Think of the EMF boosters like a safe. You put in the right code, you get to see what's inside. If you spot anything, maybe snap a picture. If you can, I'll make it worth your while. Call if you have any trouble. See you in the obit. Over and out. I think he's talking about this thing, right? It says EMF on the side here. You think this could help us? Well, Hank's EMF boosters, or whatever they are, are pretty much the only thing we can try at this point. Maybe they'll affect something? I don't know. Let's just see what they can do for us. I uh, think that came from outside. Hank mentioned grabbing a picture. I've got my camera with me. Let's see if we find anything flashworthy. So we got uh, some numbers here, or digits, I guess, on the dial. Just, yeah, careful, etc. Hey, things are uh, different. Wow, okay, th th that, that must be what the boosters do. We know they're affecting the time tunnel, right? So, I think it's just a matter of getting the right time that uh, uh, the cave's open. Yeah, well, trying to pin down the right time period with a taped together toaster is harder than it would appear. <laughs> yeah, I believe it. Oh, man, Riley, check it out. I guess it used to be sort of a campsite before it was a town. long look I know we got a job to do but like this is unbelievable wasn't too shabby when she had uh townsfolk huh Ugh, makes the abandonment all the more tragic yeah it feels strange to see it up and running or running in quotes let's look around maybe the mine's open let's check it out it must have been right after the collapse still impassable that's not gonna help us but it wasn't always like this right
awesome. It's it's open, see? Oh, thank God. Whew, glad that paid off. Yeah. Man. Let's head up top. Shouldn't take long. This is a random question, but what made you move away? From uh, Kamina, I mean. Uh, just too many bad memories. Wasn't exactly the best of times here for me. Yeah. Everybody wants to go to heaven, but nobody wants to die. I don't know why I keep thinking about that. Maybe because as a kid, I wanted to be treated like an adult, but without growing up. I'm sure most kids feel like that. I want to stay up all night and do whatever I want. Uh, I always felt older. So when I hit my 30s, I felt like that existential exhaustion finally caught up with my body. There's just something about Garland. How the town just couldn't keep up with history. It must make me babble about all this stuff because I never left Kamina. And sometimes I wonder if I should have. My life would be really different. I wouldn't be here, for one thing. Moving away doesn't make anything easier. Let me tell you from experience. Well, yeah, but it makes things different, which is something. I just always hated that expression, but nobody wants to die. It says nobody wants to do the work, to find enlightenment. Well, enlightenment's hard goddamn work, okay? No shame in sticking to what you know. I'm sorry. I think I just missed my talk. She was the one who usually had to suffer through these, uh, you know, dictatorials. Never realized just how stupid they sound when you're talking to someone without a tail. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Hey, I might have a vestigial one, you know. Don't assume, buddy. Yeah, sure. Just, I want to say thanks. Thanks for letting me help tonight. This feels like the most worthwhile thing I've done in a very long time. That's all. Hey, anytime. Though also hopefully, you know, never again. <laughs> yes, totally. All right, that's enough of that. We're late for church, come on. Oh, hey, I think, I think this is it. Great view, right? Sad city, great view. I'd take a picture, but. Now all we have to do is plant the transmitter. Yeah. You know what? The top of the chapel's the better bet. Higher, less obstructed, let's do it. You were right earlier, I just didn't see it. Someday, maybe you'll forgive me. Come on, climb time. Whoa, cool maneuver. If I tried that, my spine would fall out of my body. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure I'll feel it tomorrow when I can't get out of bed. Oh, uh, sorry. Do, do you smell that? Uh... Hey, I didn't do it. No, not... I didn't smell it before, but... That's rot. That's... Ooh, oh, that's bad wood rot. Yeah, hurry up and stick the transmitter, uh, so we... Ah! <gasps> Jacob! God. Jacob! Can you... Can you hear me? Jacob? Jacob? Please, say something. Make a noise. I'm almost there, Jacob. Just, just hold on. God, I, I can't see anything.
wonderful. This is just full of wonder. Here we go, yet again. I am just full of hate right now. I hate you, floor. I hate you, air. I hate you, hate. Perfect. Green kill. Green kill. No, sister, stay away. Get, get back. No. Die. Out. Out. Door. Impossible. So. Time. What? What is this? What? What are you trying to do, Alex? Scare me? I, I, I don't. Alex. Alex. Girl. Lost beach. It's over, Alex. You guys lost. Just leave us alone. This isn't going to work. Door open. Door. Black. Black. Time. Time. Death. End. Holy hell, I cannot wait to be done with this. Jacob, are you okay? Is anything broken? Just, 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 wait. Oh, the board gave way, didn't it? Oh. Eesh, are you, uh, okay? Yeah, I'm, mm, fine. It didn't feel like that far of a fall. It's like I just taken a header off a chair or something. Are you okay? I mean, like, you look okay, but still checking. Well, that's very nice of you to ask, but I'm fine. Good. Good. I think, I think we're both okay then. God, Miss Adler would be pretty pissed at me if she knew I'd broken into this church. She, uh, always said not to wander around Garland and get a disease. Sorry. Let's, uh, let's get out of here. Can we just do that, please? Yeah, let's get back up and get that transmitter going. Okay, 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 we're back. Let's plant this thing before anything else, before a horde of gremlins drag us off into the night. Yep, let's do it. And after the transmitter's planted, that should be it, right? The portal should close, with any luck at least. Yeah, here's hoping. I think after tonight, I'm going to officially not rely on hope anymore. Did 
Is that it? Uh, uh, is it over? I mean, the sky looks cleared. It seems better, right? I think so. I think we did it. I think, I think we really did it. I just, I, I, I can't believe it. Something about this just feels too easy. Why would Alex, why would she just, I don't know. If we beat them, it's not like they rolled over, but... They didn't roll over. We shut the door on their ghost asses. Look at the sky. You see any portals? Hear any weird voices? Feel any time distortions? Because I certainly don't. I guess not, no. Then take the W. We won. Let's enjoy it. God, it's probably like four in the morning. But there's a lot of stuff to sort through. Like, what to do about anything that's happened. But I don't know about you, I think we earned the rest of the night off. I mean, the storm lifted, right? We should go to the docks, see about getting you a hotel. I'd offer my own place, but I don't know. You saw it. Yeah, I already got a hotel through the school. Or, uh, my employer. If the walkie works, a phone might, I can call a ride. Sounds good. The town's back this way. Let's get rambling. particular ah, I'm just remembering the parentage center and, and that girl Alex I, she was I don't know I don't really know how I feel about it about her about what Alex was trying to do Olivia seems so determined I could be convinced it was the right thing for her I probably sound... You sound exactly how you should sound. You sound like someone tired. Look, tonight was something else. You should be proud how you handled it. I'm proud of how you handled it. I don't know what I would have done without you here. You were just extraordinarily lucky this worked out. I mean, if you hadn't been here at the exact right time, at this exact right spot with these exact right transmitters, I don't know what would have happened. Hey, it was you too, Jacob. You're a part of this too. Oh, go on. <laughs> I'm actually... I'm worried about Athena. We just never found her, you know? I don't know. I just keep picturing her waiting for me, wagging her tail on the porch. Hey, let's make a deal. You walk me to the docks, I'll come out tomorrow morning, first thing, and help you look. Okay, deal. Let's uh, head back to the docks. Time to close out, you know? Oh, man, weather this month. It's usually unpredictable, but the temperature's been crazy cold for weeks. Do you ever miss Kamina? Uh, why do you ask? Uh, I don't know, actually. I think maybe I'm just curious why you left. I didn't want to get stuck. Dad never left, or never will leave, I guess I should say. And I just didn't want to be like him. <laughs> At least not in that way. You doing okay? Just want to check in. Okay, here we are. Home, sweet, something. There's a phone in the general store. Maybe one more break in for old time's sake, just to call you a ride. 
I'd give you a lift, but it's a five minute walk and my truck is still dead. So if I don't see you, uh, wait. Hmm. Uh, Jacob, what's going on? Jacob? Jacob! Hey, what are you doing, man? Did you get a little, uh, deja vu just now? Um, wait, w was that? If oranges and lemons say the bells of St. Clements, here comes a candle to light you to bed, and here comes a chopper to chop off your wait, head. Alex, what are you doing? Oh, uh, wait, I... <laughs> Are you... is he okay? He's fine. He can even hear us, but he can't really respond right now. But look, this isn't what I'm here for. Back in Garland, when Jacob was affected in the time loop, that wasn't me. It was them. The Sunken. The crew of the USS Kanaloa. They've been using the half-open gate to pierce through timelines and talk to Olivia when I wasn't. I told her we were done, that this wouldn't work, that it shouldn't work, but she has a determination in her that the Sunken are taking advantage of. The Sunken? Those people that first got trapped between time? How are they back? What do they want? What anyone wants, what anything wants, what I wanted. To live, rightly. To come back to our timeline no matter what it breaks, and no matter who they have to take over to make it happen. They've convinced Olivia to go to Edwards Island and use the comm tower to open another portal. They're gonna consume everything and everyone they can to reconstitute themselves. The way I wanted to do it was a clean swap. This will be more like a hostile takeover. Everyone in Kamina is in danger, and you're the only one that can stop it from happening. Okay, uh, ma'am. Uh, so, wait, how do we stop them? By stopping Olivia. Okay, we're out of time here. Now, get a boat. I'll see you over there. I guess it was just... Wait, what happened? Was Alex here? She, she, she was she was here, and then she said the, the sunken are coming back? Is that... I didn't dream that yesterday, and I'm only just remembering it now, right? Yeah, and apparently we're all in really deep trouble if we don't prevent them from popping out of a new portal Olivia's trying to open. We need to find a boat and get to Edwards Island. We were so very close to being in our own respective beds. So close. So close. Oh, soon. Very, very soon. Something tells me we need a boat. Is that right? It's, I'm still a little foggy. So, uh, that doesn't leave a lot of options. Hey, you wouldn't be against us just a borrowing one from the docks for a few hours, right? I feel like this is worth the less than completely ethical way we're gonna go about it. Yep, yep, say no more. I know what we have to do. There's always a few boats tied to the pier down here. And, you know, since we're going to Edwards Island, this is kind of it. Any loose threads? No, it's kind of the time. Not that I'm stalling. Loose threads? Is there a loose thread I'm missing, Jacob? Hey, a lot of weird stuff happened today. And I'm just saying, if all goes well, this whole harrowing experience is done after we get on that boat. So anything you want to do before it's done, better do it now. Okay, so here's not exactly Jack-a-Block, but one of these should do. This looks fine. Yeah, here to there is all we need. It's Ava's. She runs a vape shop. She always tries to get me to go with her to field test new products. I guess so she could feel less guilty about fishing on the clock. Dude, she was totally flirting with you. I mean, clearly she had T-ball level game, but still, that's a proper flirt. Hey, Jake, let's go skewer some worms. That's when I knew we were meant to be. It's padlocked to the dock, and we need the key to start the thing. But I bet all the coins in my pocket that the key's in the shop. And knowing Ava, the door's probably unlocked. 
No one's exactly itching to steal leeches and mealworms, so. Okay, so we need a code for the lock and a key for the boat. And hopefully some calm water after that. Come on. Secures their damn doors on this town. Tomorrow I'm convincing Ava to buy a padlock. I'll stay out here. Seven Eleven is highlighted. Trouble, I'll, uh, huh. Whistle okay. Or something. MB? Okay, seriously, woman, are you trying to get your boat stolen? Eh, whatever. Gift horse, mouth, etc. I think all that leaves is the code for the lock so I can untie the boat. Ah. Happy birthday, Marco. <laughs> that is a lot of chocolate cake. Wait, MB. Marco's birthday? Did, did you hear that? Athena! Oh, Athena! You freaking knucklehead! Oh, I'm gonna kill you. Oh my god, I was so worried! Athena! You're okay, buddy! She seems all right. Is it okay if I pet her? Oh, let's find out. Athena, can Riley pet you? Athena, speak. That means yes. You know how many TV remotes this mud has obliterated? Oh, Athena, I swear to Vishnu, I'm getting you a bell. A very large bell that you can hear from Wisconsin. No more running off. Okay, seriously, this this is sweet. Maybe too sweet. Oh, for sure, but like, I needed this real bad. Oh, man, this is... <laughs> Sorry. I'm uh, not usually like this, you know, but uh, it's been a long night. This is my home, you know? It's my home. It's just... It's nice to feel relieved. For once. It's okay, Jacob. It's all right. All right, come on, girl. I'll be right back. Like, right the hell back. So don't you wiggle away. You hear me? Be my good girl. Stay here. Sound good? Speak. <laughs> Sounds good. I have to do this thing. It's an opportunity to do something important. And, uh, if I don't make it back, it's not because I didn't try. The one in town will take you in. They all know you. You'll, uh, you'll be okay. Okay? Okay. I'm ready. You think you know the code? Seven, one, one. Ta-da. Hey, nice work. Okie doke. After you. Ladies first. Age before. Ooh. Um. Yeah, after you. Uh, hey, come on. Get on. Oh, no, no, no. After you. Ooh la la. Breaking societal protocol. I dig it. I used to uh, pride myself on owning the very first issue of TV Guide. It has a the I Love Lucy baby on the cover. For months, it was my only goal to get it. I'm mentioning this because this is probably like the greatest thing I'm gonna do in my life. Helping you fix all this. There's no topping that. Come on, you don't know that for sure. You might invent a new kind of, I don't know, chair? No, I don't know. But gun to my head, I'd bet it all on red, so to speak. 
gets old being a fix-it man. Your job is to look at something broken. Just a lifetime of staring at failure. And hopefully fixing it. Why don't you do something else then? You think I haven't tried? That came out sharper than it should have. Sorry. It's just, this is gonna be it. This is the apex of my accomplishment. Another fix-it job. Bigger job, more important job, sure, but a fix-it job still. I don't know. This would have been nice if the number one spot was taken by something I created. Maybe that's selfish? No, that's not selfish. That makes sense. I think we'd all like to be remembered for something more than she loved to laugh or some crap like that. We were remembered at all. Maybe this is the night it all turns around. As he sailed away from the silent city, socks still uncomfortably damp, Jacob Summers decided he had fixed enough. After tonight, the only thing he would try to fix is himself. <laughs> yeah, how stupid does that sound, right? authentic and genuinely not sarcastic or smoke-blowing way, the beautiful, mysterious, well-dressed, and modest Riley Popperly told him, I believe in you, Jacob Summers. Thanks. I'm sure you have other things on your mind besides all this. Anyways. Oh, almost there. But first... for luck. For luck. see Olivia's boat. Actually, yeah, why am I surprised by that? She probably just ran the thing aground somewhere and hobbled out. Maybe we'll have some time to catch up to her. Come on. Edwards Island. It's been a while. Yep, it's, um, it's nice to see it. It's still standing. I think I remember how to get to the old communications tower. Richard Harden Tower? Dick Harden? <laughs> you'll, you'll, you'll see. this place even like 10 years ago this was like it you know yeah, you come here on the weekends just run around get lost in the woods sneak off smoke drink take the ferry back at sunset tell your parents half of what happened yeah well uh that was a long time ago edwards island has been a relic for a while just let it sink i'm sure it will one day Unstable. I, I didn't expect everything to be this bad. I don't know why I have the nerve to expect anything anymore. Fire! Man's great equalizer. So, what's the, um, what's the, like, thing to do here? Other than obviously go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. Um, hello? Wait. Who, which ones are you? Fire! Anne's great equalizer. Hey, wait, Alex. We're, we're still just like getting our feet wet, so what don't leave you. What's the, like. Don't worry. I don't know you're here. Yeah. There's echoes stuck between time. My friends and me. Oh, you mean Maggie? Olivia's Adler? opening the portal already. Yeah. Or will or has. The, the timelines are converging. Trying to get us there, but the jumps are erratic. We'll glitch again soon. Uh, I'm sorry, but I am just not following this at all. So, the cave. What's your bets? On a scale of 1 to 10, how weird's it gonna be? 
Pretty goddamn weird, Jonas. You know, in the moments after you drop a glass bottle or lose your keys or trip, and you just keep replaying the minutes right before it happened over and over. Why didn't I just not do that? Why, why didn't I just... Why didn't I drown instead of my brother? Alex, your friends here? They wouldn't want that. For you or for them. You're not what went wrong. A military test went wrong, and you got caught in it. So did you. I've been thinking. In all the times I've tried this, and in all the times you've stopped me, you never came here. You never came to the island. And I don't know what that means. Oh. Wait. I... We're going to see Olivia now. I know, this looks bad. It looks bad because it is, but we still have time. Follow me up. I'm gonna try and convince Olivia before it's too late. You destroyed her radio, so it'll slow her down a little, but not enough. Watch it! We're running out of time, kids. Oh, man. Christ, thank God I didn't bring her down. If I fall to my death, please adopt her. Olivia's on the roof. Come on. We have to hurry. Oh my god. No, 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 it shouldn't be this. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Stay there. Don't come near me. It's already done. You're too late. Olivia, stop. Olivia! I, I know what you think is going to happen, but it won't. Not like this. You quit. You said... You said you could... Oh, God. Are we too late? Alex. You're still here. Wait! Please! You don't have to do it this way! How is this anything different than what you and all of your infantile yearning tried to do? I know! I, I want it out! I still hey, do! Let Olivia go! What, you... You want to be a sad teenager for the rest of your oh. life? We can be again. We can wait and pine and grow and strive. Stop! You, you aren't fit! Henry Griffin! Kelvin Gilbert! Men! Women of the Canaloa! I know you're... You have children of your... You're not our old salt and never will be again. Now we are Olivia. Now we are Riley. Home? Everything. Oh, man. figure out how to get out of here. I'm still myself, or m myself enough. The forest is the town of the trees. Come on, it's not over yet. Is this the home you're trying to get back to? What is there to escape to? Alex! Alex, are you... 
Are you here? Ugh, crap. This light is a little... Is there like a, like a hum to it? The radio's buzzing a bit. Tower again? Yes, the ar I'm on my lunch break, okay? Talk to Colonel Shear if this is important. I'm I'm sorry, but are you Maggie Adler? This is am I in Fort Milner? Fort Milner? No. I don't believe you are. I don't believe I'm the Maggie Adler my mother once knew. But don't worry. You'll be gone soon anyway. Just like you're talking about. Where am I? I don't know. You don't know, so I don't know. But something's eating you. Inside out. The dead don't change. They can't. Just like you and me. I'll always be here. And you'll always be in your little apartment, wishing things were different. You're wrong. I I know I can get back. I can fight them. Fight this. I can fight it. Like how I fought? Against the eclipse? Against death? Nothing fights like time, child. And the sunkener is time itself. Stop fighting. Your grace. For souls who lose your soul works here with wallpaper. No, it's okay, it's okay. I'm not gone yet, not completely. Just oh, keep moving. Yeah, that's enough of that. Stop messing with my mind, damn it! Oh, where the hell am I this time? You know it. You show up, fish clear out. 
Not like you should expect this to go any better, I guess. Or maybe I'm just bad luck. What's... what is this? What's what? Which part? You recognize me, right? I know it's you, Rex. Yeah, I know. You're a long way from home, Riley. You've been a long way from home for a while now, to tell you the truth. And I know you wanted to change some things when you heard I was coming. Get your life in order, you know. Exercise five days a week, stuff like that. How's it going so far? Making your bed every day? Oh, it's going exactly how I thought it would go. Just a pure pile of smelly garbage. Like most things I try to do. Like most things you try to do. Yeah, here's the thing about that. I'm one of those things. And I think I turned out pretty okay. I wash my clothes twice a month and everything. <sighs> sorry. I... I'm sorry. Riley, I know you think you effed up here, and that you failed, and that the whole town is going to get eaten by ghosts, but you haven't yet. They haven't yet. But they will unless you snap the hell out of it right now. How? You don't think I'm trying? I'm stuck here. You've been stuck before. You've been stuck for years. Mom, I think you've let a lot of anger keep you staple to the carpet. You used to say you can't punch every problem. But hey, at least punching is trying something. Look, the Sunken and Alex and all of her friends have been in a void, just like you. Unlike you, though, they want to get out of it. How many years did you drain away on the couch, in bars, doing nothing, wanting nothing, wanting to shrivel into dirt, crumble yeah, to dust? Yeah, it's been... it's been a little hard for me to, you know, get out there. It's hard for everyone. This stuff is hard. And don't say... I know you like to be stoic. There isn't any more time to kill. You're not that young anymore, and today's... today. It ain't tomorrow. Well, this is the opposite of what you're going to try and teach me, by the way. Okay, now, I, I tried to be a good mom in those those moments with you. I, I tried, but I was pretty much thrown into it. Everyone's pretty much thrown into it, but you're missing the point. <sighs> I'm fishing, see? Fishing, that's because of you. I cook my eggs how I do because you cook your eggs that way. I wear jackets all the time, even when I'm dying of heat. I don't floss. I buy too many socks. All the utterly horrible guidance made me who I am today, and I like who I am. But you just don't take your own damn advice, Mom. You never knew. You never did. So, I'm here now to make you take your own advice. Do something. Be something. Just make a choice and stick with it. Even if that choice doesn't take you exactly where you expected it to. How, Rex? How exactly am I supposed to do that here? It's easy. Well, it's not easy, but it's easy to start. Admit to yourself, to me, to the void, that eternity doing nothing isn't for you. It's not what I want. It's not enough. And what do you really want? I want to just do something that matters. I need to do something that matters. Uh, yes. Yes, you do. But I think this is my stop. I never did get used to goodbyes. This is one. Not really. Oh, and I'll see you at Christmas. I pop out a little early. Wait, wait! Riley, can you hear me? Riley! Jacob! Uh, I'm back! I can't, I can't believe it! It worked! Too late, right? 
Riley, use the radio. <laughs> Is this a good thing that's happening right now? I think, yes, I think this is it. Uh, what's it? <gasps> Olivia, Jesus. I can't believe this. We were this close to being done, to being saved, and you had to make everything worse. Sorry to disappoint you. Olivia, Sunken can't help you. You couldn't help me. You quit. We could have had everything we wanted if you just kept to the plan. The Cantaloa crewmen would have... I know. I know. I thought they would help me. I know what you wanted, Olivia. I understand. But you just can't cheat death like this. I'm sorry. Whatever. We're not done yet. We're still between things. We've pushed back the sunken and systemized the portal. And that's good. That's what we want, but someone still has to lock it from the other side. I did it myself many years ago. It's how I got stuck. How my friends and I got stuck. Okay, let's close it. That's why we're here, right? Not so fast. Someone has to tune the portal from within the time stream. Or it will never close. And consume us all. What are you talking about? Whoever closes this portal must remain in the portal. Wait, there's absolutely no other way? Someone has to be on the other side to do it? On the other side of this portal, you'll be between spaces because of how the sunken and me and my friends entered we didn't have the choice we became stuck in the moment of our accident but it can be a gift olivia you can be with your parents again forever but it's not real but it would just be an illusion no no illusion just a moment that will never change or advance but a real one Unless. And Riley, you should know because it matters for this. Rex and you, it doesn't end well. I've seen a lot of versions of you. Well, waiting and looking, and you guys are gonna have a lot of good days. I mean, years of them. Just someday, the two of you will hit a wall too tall to climb and too long to walk around. And I know you know exactly the kind of situation I'm talking about, don't you? What situation? What are you even talking about? Like me and my dad. 
Yeah, like you and your dad. I'm sorry to be the one to tell you this, but I'm the only one that can. I built the antenna, me. Charlie just knew where to get the parts. And she almost ruined everything. Olivia. And yet, you beseech her like she's some prophet. I am going in that portal, ghost. It's not up to her. It's not up to you anymore, either. <laughs> You're 16, Olivia. You can't even sign a contract to work at the donut shop without your guardian's permission. You really think I'm gonna let you throw your life away? You know what I think? I think you want to care about me, but don't. My parents, you have no idea what they meant to me. And I am not giving up the chance to be with them again. You chose me for a reason. I did. Your future is cloudy and uncertain, and you wanted this so badly. I thought I could live with myself if we switched. But maybe that was just mania acting for me. What do you mean her future's cloudy? Honestly, Riley, I can't put it any other way. Well, it's Riley's decision who goes in. Why? She has the radio, and it was always going to be like this. Always. Riley, you have a kid on the way. You really want to be stuck in a past moment forever? I want this! Quiet. Let her think. Riley, just give me the radio, okay? Just give me the radio and walk away. Done. Olivia. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I know I did this. I caused all of this, but it's... This isn't what you think. I'm... You're really letting me go? I guess she is. Why? Maybe she saw in you what I saw in you. Olivia, who am I to stop you, honestly? If you want to do this, if you really want to do this, go ahead. Olivia, tune the portal closed. Watch. I'm going to see my mom and dad again. I mean, it's actually going to happen. It's going to actually happen. I did it. Look, Riley, I don't have to say thank you, and we're not hugging. Just be a good mom. To your son. I will, Olivia. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Hey, there you are. This is just the next day check-in. Leslie's really happy with the work you did. The transmitters, you know, their placements seem perfect. Negligible scratch. I know it wasn't the most interesting work day, but the, uh, our environmental research staff is gonna be psyched when they hear how clear the cuckoos are coming through. The bird calls are perfect. Cuckoos, huh? That's what the study is for. Cuckoos are endangered in Oregon, and this will help track migratory patterns and help us get a sense of their nesting range. Hopefully get them off the endangered list. But, uh, Evelyn, I was hired to plant transmitters to study a strange interference with the area's electronic equipment. Remember? Uh, no. Riley, you were hired to help us study yellow-billed cuckoos? And you did. So, that's... Maybe you're just overtired. I don't think you made it to the hotel last night. Did something happen? Oh, wait, sorry, Riley, uh, before you get into it. Sorry, really quick. We're shuffling projects and need to know before Leslie walks out the door. If you'd be willing to sign up for another job next month. You are one of our better researchers. And it'd be the same deal, basically. Just planting test equipment. Uh, yeah. Maybe. I'll, um, I'll think about it. Uh, okay. Give it a think. Sounds good. Well, thanks for everything, Riley. I think you can pick up your check at the campus admissions office. Alex, yeah, Evelyn, I'll, um, I'll pick going? it up later. 
Okay, Give me a sounds second. good. Take care, Riley. Over and out. First thing I heard this morning was my mom calling up to me from the kitchen to take out the trash. I slept in a little, I guess. Do you hate me? Of course I hate you. I was having a pretty uneventful month until you came along. Riley, I may come off to you differently, but I really don't know how any of this stuff works. Things are here again, though. You did that. I'm here. My friends are here. Of all the people of Kamina, none of them have been taken over by the vengeful ghosts of a sunken submarine. And you're here thinking about Olivia. She got what she thought she wanted. I just hope she's happy with it. She seemed happy. I think we'll have to live with that. Alex, come on, we're gonna be late. Yeah, give me a minute. Yeah, they don't remember. They're better off, honestly. I'm uh, <laughs> taking AP English this year. When we went in, I was working on a paper on Dickinson. She said she, uh, she never had a mother. That a mother is someone to whom you run when you're in trouble. However you end up with Rex, Riley, you fit the description. Remember that. Bye, Alex. Watch out for any... Uh, for anything, really, okay? It was a lot of work to get you here. I'll be good. All right. I'll see you around, Riley. Have a good one. Alex! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just had to... Who was that? She's the mom of one of the guys in school. Oh, I'll tell you about it later. Only you would have a mom friend. Jesus. Stop talking to everyone. Sure thing. Oh. Hey, Athena! How are you, girl? <laughs> hey, where are you going? Oh. I think she likes you. Oh my god, Jacob, I, I, uh, hi. Hey. Oh, I'm still a little shaky, to say the least. I, I woke up in bed. Just a normal Saturday, right? It, it is Saturday, isn't it? But, uh, phew, yeah, <laughs> I didn't know I'd ever see you again. Hey, I'm sorry to disappoint. I can pretend I don't know you. No, no, I'm, I'm glad to see you. I was just... A few minutes ago, I was trying to come to terms with the fact that I might be the only one to remember. Oh, this is Athena's time to do her, uh, business. We, we call it business time. I, uh, need to apologize for not offering myself to the portal. I wouldn't have even said anything, but I knew it was always going to be Olivia. She just needed it. For her, this was never gonna end. No need to apologize, Jacob. I understand. Nobody, not even Olivia, wants that. And besides, it wasn't your responsibility to have to do that. It shouldn't have been anyone's. Yeah, well, thanks for that. I don't know if I fully believe you, but, um, thanks. So, I think you should call your dad and tell him you're going to be a mom. And why that's a good thing. Pretty soon, anyway. It's true. He is going to have another branch in the family tree. Y you know, we make these little people, and those little people grow up into big people. And along the way, we change. We lose things. We gain things. We form opinions. We have regrets. And... We, we, we take all of that stuff and go on making more little people. Time travel really isn't anything compared to all that, is it? I don't know if I'd say that. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the other night I had a dream. I was talking to my grandmother about 
something, I don't know. But we were watching TV, her old black and white in her living room. It was just white noise. And she said something to me about waves, about the ocean, how it was eternal, like time itself. And when I woke up, I felt comforted by that. I think that's all you can do in the face of it, be comforted. Or... That doesn't matter much, you don't know me. You've never heard of me, you never will. But I know Riley, and she's a unique person. I'm sure you know that too. What you probably don't know is that she helped me out in a really big way recently. And the only thing I can think of to do to pay her back is to send you this package. It's um, a, a collection of things that will hopefully give you a clearer picture just who Riley is, and the immense effect she's had on people's lives. Mm, I don't know. When you get through everything, I left a note at the bottom. Okay, so, and, um, thank you. says she's probably happy. She saw memories of Olivia when everything was going on. She says she picked her for a reason, that she deserved to go. I'm just glad Riley was there, so she wasn't alone. <sighs> yeah, me too. Sasquatch. Sure. It used to be just my home office, really. The place I make my, uh, my art. But I, uh, decided to start opening it up to visitors a bit more. Or anyone who wants to see. A friend of mine, Riley, really pushed me to do it. Her son, Rex, is a smart critic. <laughs> Brutal, but smart. I've started to become known around town as more than just the local weirdo. <laughs> which, which, which is a plus. I'd lived my life a certain way up until this point. <laughs> Pretty closed off, anxious. And I don't know, life's just too short, right? <laughs> Dad? We can go to the park later! <laughs> appreciate my stepfather and there was a time that I hated even the concept of having a stepbrother relationships are hard even the ones that are supposed to be easy supposed to be ingrained I don't really know what I expected to do with all this but just know that your mom isn't just your mom she's not just the person who you maybe think failed you she's a person that has a life, and that life has a lot of branches to it. And she cares about your life. You were the future she didn't want to lose. And no matter what you think of her, remember that. Alright, I think that's it. Oh, and the 